Well, hey there, broads. Hi. <laughs> How are all you doing? <laughs> We're in we're back in person right now. Yeah. But this is just a tease. Yeah, we're so sorry. sorry because we just finished recording our episode that will be out Thursday. And our episode that'll be out Tuesday. We got Hi, content coming to you. We bros. got some great stuff coming. And if you are listening to this right now, you know that the um Bachelor aired last night. And don't worry, we will be going over that bomb we dropped uh, on Thursday. So please make sure you tune into that episode. But in the meantime, we were still on a little breaky. So we are re releasing this episode. This is our uncensored date night episode. Now, this episode happened. When was this? This was at like the beginning of quarantine, at the beginning of the pandemic. And we were like, we, you and I had been doing uh, Zoom. I was pregnant still. Huh? You were still pregnant. And. Uh, yeah, I think you were still pregnant. Yeah, I think I was. Yeah, yeah. Because I think there was an episode where I had Frank, but it, that was when we did the like um, the cast bios. cast bios. So this episode, so if you've been listening last week, we re-released Becca and Grayston's origin story and then mine and Evan's origin story. And so we thought, let's do our first like, this was our first sit down with the four of us recorded ever. And we talked about some interesting stuff. I have no recollection. I, I'm pretty sure you listened to it back. What did we talk about? This episode gets wild. We answer a lot of Broad Squad questions. We get into some arguments. It is fun. It is unhinged. We are... Oh, aren't we just like all talking over each other about a bazillion things? Oh, it's things? wild. And like the three... You're not, but the three of us are drinking. It, And then we're talking <laughs> about like, you know, crushes. I mean, it's, 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 it's unhinged and it's really fun. It's one of my personal favorite episodes. Oh, I'm going to listen to it. And back. it's the four of us together, really, for the first time. It's so wonderful. So cute. Um, and it's also a tease uh, because officially starting this Friday, the bros. I'm psyched. We'll have a weekly episode. More content for you guys and more content for me. More I know. importantly. I love listening to the bros episodes. I was, we watched the YouTube back <laughs> of Grey giving Evan the Play-Doh. And Jess, I don't remember the last time I was watching something and I was on the ground holding in my pee. Broads, if you haven't watched the bros <laughs> Christmas episode. Uh, there yeah. is one specific moment where Evan's treating he goes, I don't like this. And I just, we watched it twice and I just lost it. Fell to the ground, mm -hmm. almost peeing they, my pants They every blindfolded, time. like, or they wore, you know, kind they of blindfolded. They pulled Santa hats pulled over their, their eyes, which is also hilarious. <laughs> and they fed each other surprise things. And it is... Now, fun fact, I was in our living room and all of a sudden I hear the, uh, the studio door open and I look out and I'm like, are they done recording already? No, just Evan And I retching. see Evan run out and it looks like he's dry heaving uh -huh. into the planter. And I'm like, what in God's <laughs> name is going on? I'm like, is, is he have the flu or something? Like, what is happening? <laughs> Turns out it was something else. So you should definitely listen oh, to that or watch that one. So good. Yeah, that one's a good watch. The bros have have uh, episodes that I like watching. This episode you might like to watch too on YouTube. I, I enjoyed watching our the four of our facial reactions while the other person was talking. I think it's always fun to see our facial expressions. Also, yeah. hey broads, if you want to give us a little special New Year's treat, haven't done this in a while. Oh yeah. But especially because, you know, sometimes people are a little upset about, you know, when we make certain choices to take certain directions with the podcast, like not recapping the bachelor season. If you love and support our podcast and we've ever given you any joy, put a smile on your face. It would make our days if you could just leave a five star review on the Apple podcast app. You don't even have to write a review. It like seriously takes probably less than 20 seconds if you're not driving to get on your phone and just tap a little five stars if you've ever enjoyed an episode it means a lot to us it really helps us out it really out. does it and, really uh, does so that would mean everything and by the way all your questions will be answered on Thursday's episode yes well yeah. maybe not all your questions but at least some of them hopefully most of them yeah yeah if you have questions write to us maybe we'll cover it we smile i cry yeah it's a whole thing <laughs> Yeah, Jess has been rehearsing that part for a couple of weeks now. Yeah. And I thought it was a 10 out of 10 performance. I feel performance. like I'm really learning how to fake cry. <laughs> <laughs> you really honed your craft. Can you imagine? And, um, I'm like, I'm. this is my moment. And I've been preparing in the mirror for this my entire life. The real reason, Jess, we're not recapping is because Jess is going to Juilliard to pursue her acting career. Finally. I've been wanting to. What if you actually did life. start an acting career? That would be cool. You know, I... 
used to want to act. I went through all that stuff when I was younger and I just didn't feel like my dreams were supported. And instead of just pursuing them myself, I, I gave know. up I and know. I regret it. So you know what? Maybe I'll be joining our community theater soon. I actually, a friend was talking about taking like acting classes and they were talking about rehearsing scenes with partners. And I was like, I want to do that now. Becca's starting that. Catch me <sighs> in not. this coming year's performance. Of bye bye birdie. <laughs> bye bye birdie. <laughs> You know what, though? If you become an actor, you have to drive to castings and shit. What a drag. That's true. That's why I would just do community theater. Anyway, broads, enjoy this. <laughs> yes, broads. Let's dive in and uh, enjoy. enjoy. We'll catch you on Thursday. Hey, stop. I'm going to squeeze your arm really hard and claw in when you're taking too long when I need to say something. Today is my <laughs> podcast, so I'm just going to remind you that right now. So Yo, that's staying in 100%. That little blip. <laughs> that's how we start the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Episode of Chatty Broads with Becca and Jess. Well, hey, Broads, what is going on? I already have the laugh attacks a little bit, and we haven't started the episode, so... It's a giggly way to start. (laughs) It is a giggly way to start, because we do have a special episode today. Um, We, listen, here's the thing. Becca and I were like... We've been stuck in quarantine for a hot minute. Let's just have a Zoom double date night and record it with the boys. Oh, hell yeah. Hi, Men's. broads. <laughs> Hi, guys. By the way, I had I had posted on our Facebook. I was like, hey, would you guys be into this? And I think everyone thought I meant a Zoom call together. And I was like... That's a great idea, but these two I don't necessarily trust to not like drop my oh, family no. secret live. <laughs> live? Are live? you kidding? <laughs> Absolutely not. That's a disaster waiting to happen. Absolutely <laughs> not. Why do you think we haven't recorded me and Grayson's episode? I mean, why we haven't released it? It's because it was a total train wreck. We'll, <laughs> we'll burn their business to the ground in one foul swoop. Listen, that's the thing. You got to be careful sometimes. Like maybe maybe one day when we have a Patreon out, if you pay like a thousand dollars, we'll do unreleased episodes with the boys without them being edited. For our, our only our only fans. <laughs> yes, that's what our only fans is for. It's not sexual content. It's just all the shit we've never cut out of our episode. It's just and you shit have to that pay like five hundred dollars a month. <laughs> exactly. If you're willing to do that. Then we can do a live live Zoom call. But otherwise, I think we're going to have to have something that we can potentially edit if Evan decides to, I don't know, drop tea about like what my dad told him about our deep family secrets the other night. That was a it's not going to happen. We what it. happened? My dad got intoxicated and basically like dumped all these family jewels that he hadn't. And half of them he hadn't told me. I had like my my mouth was on the ground and Evan was just like eating popcorn and drinking I was hitting tequila. the pillow, like, are you kidding me it got a it little was intense insane. it blew my mind just like secrets i had never known about all this crazy stuff quarantine quarantine is really <laughs> opening up the quarantine gates of hell secrets. i guess oh absolutely people insane. are getting restless so, so here we are hi guys how are you both how's quarantine um it almost feels like summer vacation, but as an adult and not really summer vacation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Summer vacation without hanging out with your friends, going anywhere, partying. Summer vacation and the, and where you lose everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not unemployed because you're in high school. You're unemployed because the government has shut you don't have to go to You don't have to go to work anymore. <laughs> you're just passively collecting unemployment checks. It's but like allowance. It's beautiful. You can't go any. You can't go outside. You can't go anywhere to congregate, and you can't see anybody in person. It's like it's like summer vacation after your parents have grounded you one weekend, and you're just like, great. Yeah, but so you can vacation get drunk every day and sleep in as late as you want. Summer vacation where you lose everything you've worked for your entire life. Your <laughs> future burns to the ground in front of you. But like, it's dope. <laughs> but my tan has never been never better felt, bitch i've never had done more me time <laughs> blink twice if you feel like your children are holding you captive <laughs> this is a prison oh yeah summer vacation except you have fucking kids yeah <laughs> except you are woken up early in the morning and are exhausted by the time that you know the sun sets but here we are it's fine it's yeah. like we're all grounded 
Well, I think yes. that I feel like I remember going to parking lots when I was in high school and you'd be with, with your friends in a parking lot, sitting in a trunk, eating food. Yeah, and it would be like yeah. the hottest, most fun thing ever. And I, we've been doing that lately, except just well, yeah, actually my my friends have been doing that, though. Actually, my friends did like a picnic at the in and out parking lot. So they all just sat in the back of their trunks in sort of like a sort of near each other. And just <laughs> I was going to say yeah. their burgers. What businesses parking lot would you guys go to? We'd be in our church parking lot because that shit was empty. Sus. <laughs> Huge so sus. and empty. Huge and empty. So you guys would go create mischief in the church parking lot? We'd, we wouldn't create mischief. We would park in the back or Evan had his big old van and we'd park and we'd hook up in the back of the van in the church parking lot. You gotta realize lot. church, I have church hooked works up in a once, church one day a week. Lot as well. I have definitely hooked up in a church parking lot once or twice as well. You What's so? To. Why is it so erotic to be like sexy I don't even in a church? In church is. Vicinity? I think that the church parking lot, like you said, is just empty on any given night of the week. Plus, I mean, I think it's hot to do anything you know you're not supposed to be doing. I mean, I think that's that's, what, that's half naughty. of it too. It's <laughs> naughty. Right? It's like make making out in church. Oh, I know mom but and dad I, would be so disappointed. But I legitimately <laughs> I legitimately remember being like, there's no other parking lot where I'm going to feel safe hooking up in my car right now besides the church parking lot because there's not going to be anyone else fucking there. It's true. There's no police like tapping on your window. They're not coming into the church parking lot typically. It's the Lawrence Granted, parking lot. There was a lot of dirt roads in Fresno for sure. But then that's also a good place to get rolled up on. We'd always be in alleyways. Wait, this is a great first question. Okay, so Broads, okay. here's the thing. You, you've, you've, we've talked with Gray before. We've talked with Ev before. There are already episodes about them. Love you both. But, you know, you've been introed. We're talking about some uncomfortable questions today, maybe some fun stories. So some of the Broads sent them to us. So this is a good question. Like, have you? what's the most awkward hookup you've been caught in? Awkward you've been caught? I don't even think I've really, I've only like been caught by a roommate or two. Um, one time my sister, my older sister, showed up at my house. Did she make eye contact with you? Well, I sort of like came out into the hallway, like sort of like covering <laughs> up with a shirt kind of thing. Grasping one breast? And just like really, really stoned. And that was probably the, the worst part. For, anyway. That's not a fun memory to think back on, <laughs> but like I've never really been, <laughs> I've never really been like caught. Have you been caught? Um, one have, time Cheeto, I got hot Cheeto. Right one here. time I got walked in on, but that was like walked in on by who? An ex. <gasps> oh, like at a party? Uh huh. At oh. a party at my at my birthday. At your own birthday? <laughs> okay, just I tell mean, the you, story. You kind of get the pass at that point. It was a birthday party. I was in college. It was a big birthday party at my house. How old were you? Uh, yeah, just tell the story. Twenty one. I think it was my 21st birthday, actually. Oh, that's so sad. It was a Harry Potter-themed birthday. <laughs> Is that when your parents oh, were there? Yeah, my parents, my parents flew up um, to Portland from L.A. And my mom flew up with like a suitcase full of tamales and salsa. Oh. For my friends, for my friend's mom's restaurant, and then they bought us kegs, and we had like a big keg party at our house, and it was all Harry Potter themed. What house are you? Um, it was called the Tonino House. No, what? No, house what house? You? Harry Potter house. Oh, Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Oh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's zero. That's zero for two. That's zero for two. The first one was what house? And he's great. like, like Can we see. would know the name of the house you're at. <laughs> And then second of all, you just name a random thing in the movie. You're just like, uh, Considering uh, that your birthday wizards. was themed Harry Potter. <laughs> you don't sound like the, the Millennium thing. Falcon. What have you guys well, been doing before we started this? It's been nice. It's been nice being on the podcast. I kind of think that you were homeschooled and not allowed to watch Harry Potter now. <laughs> New theory. I've been faking it this whole time. No, Griff, Griff, Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Okay. What are you guys? I'm Ravenclaw. Hey, girl, same. <laughs> Obviously. What do you think this Duh. bitch is? I have no idea what I am. I know what you You're are. You're such a Hufflepuff. <laughs> He's a Slytherin, which scares me. Yeah, I knew it. You'd I knew go it. Slytherin? 
I don't, yeah, I don't know. And I, he took the test. It was a test. <laughs> he took the BuzzFeed quiz and three, he's three definitely questions. fucking I don't Slytherin. Know. I don't know. Slytherin, Slytherin is don't, like... Don't you love when they have the questions that are totally unrelated to you? Like, where would you go on vacation? Turkey, Greece, or Hawaii? And they're like, you're totally a Gryffindor. <laughs> Slytherin, Slytherin to me are people who would like, when you have a limited amount of supplies left, they're the ones pilfering. Evan doesn't seem like a pilferer type. You don't. Know would you me, pilfer man. for your? What does it count if you would pilfer for his family? Because you know some people would be like, "We got to do what's fair," and then Evan would be like, "Fuck all y'all! I'm feeding Jess and Ember." That's where you're slithering. It's like, uh, you know what? We had this conversation the other day with, with my father in law, which is the zombie apocalypse kind of situation. Sure. You got your family in the house. You got everything you need. Someone knocks on the door. Help me! Help me! Help me! But you, but it's 50 50, right? You invite, invite them in. Maybe they're zombies. You invite them. You know, you know, it's like you have to gamble. Your compassion has to gamble. And so I think. Well, dude, this is the walking dead, dude. This is what separates Rick from everybody else. Exactly. Rick, always, Rick takes the Gryffindor road. He takes the Gryffindor road. He says it's a we. It's a we. Who's, issue. This, who's this sexy guy with the motorcycle? Jax? Daryl. <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> Now, oh, Daryl's yeah, good. Jack. Daryl's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, Daryl, sorry. Bye, Rick. I'll take Daryl <laughs> yeah, any fucking awesome. day over Rick. Are you fucking kidding me? Absolutely. That's pussy shit. All right, Daryl's great. Such a sorry. Hard ass. <laughs> Finish your story. How did we get on this? Uh, it was your house. Your story. <laughs> she said, "What was your house?" Oh yeah. <laughs> well, so later on, uh, in the Terrence birthday. View Apartments. <laughs> <laughs> Three hundred one. <laughs> Alibi Way. <laughs> Eleven hundred a month. Know, you heard of it? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Sorry, Gray, we'll let you continue. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't really even it's it doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, so your parents are there. Wasn't your mom cooking in the yeah, kitchen? But my mom was dude, it was live. You can't my talk parents, away from the mic. My parents, this was bef- this was when my dad still drank and my dad was taking whiskey sh- whiskey swills this out of the pre-sober bottle. Pre-sober Jim. Pre-sober Jim. <laughs> he was taking he was taking whiskey shots straight out of the bottle in the kitchen with my friend on <laughs> my friend wore roller skates to all the parties. <laughs> and then um uh, Unreal. My mom's always been my mom's always been the life of the party. And then um yeah, I don't know. Later on, I was hooking up with someone and um, I thought I, I had said goodbye to my ex-girlfriend, but it was one of those, you know, sometimes you just stay at a party. Uh Oh, and then she came up to look for me to say goodbye, like a second goodbye a little later. Sounds like she still had feelings. <laughs> Sounds like someone hadn't gotten over gray. <laughs> it, it was pretty shitty. It was pretty shitty. Wait, so when that, you. Sh- yeah, go ahead. Uh, that's BS. She knew. Yeah. No, yeah. no one goes up in. Just looking like, for someone at a house party a upstairs for a second good dude she knew she saw well, you and she saw that shit happen from day in. one she watched you the whole way and she's like i'm gonna bust him and act like what? why the fuck would you be upstairs in your room otherwise maybe like smoking with people or something i don't know yeah I let's mean, put her on blast let's roast her. Reasons, what's her name no, there's <laughs> plenty of reasons <laughs> wait when she came in in what state were you yeah how involved were you full-blown <laughs> This is for the this for the OnlyFans <sighs> for the Patreon. Oh, so you have to subscribe to the, to the Chatty Broads Patreon if you want the. We don't tea. have one yet. But... I I can read between the lines. She was going down on you. It's subscribe fine. to me and Becca's Patreon for the tea. <laughs> yeah, Grayson's Patreon. Yeah, but Grace, he's, just gonna, he's just capitalizing on all the shitty stories of me and like videos of me in the bathroom and stuff. He's just like, it's you're just like taking a bath. Has a little. <laughs> you're just like casually washing yourself, and he's just filming. <laughs> Not trying to be sexy at all. I need content for my Patreon. <laughs> oh my god, scandalous content. <laughs> Okay, broads, interrupting this re-release date night uncensored reunion. Listen, something as common and necessary as birth control really should not require a five-step mission to acquire it. I mean, it's 2022, okay? How is getting birth control not simplified yet? Well, actually... 
thanks to the Pill Club, getting birth control is an easy task now. The Pill Club is an online uh, site offering birth control subscriptions prescribed by a medical professional delivered right to your door. It doesn't get much easier than that. The Pill Club carries over 120 FDA approved brands and ships to all 50 states. Most brands of birth control are free with insurance or Medicaid, but otherwise prices start as low as just $7 per month without insurance. And the Pill Club delivers birth control to your door for free in discreet packaging along with self-care gifts and goodies. When you use the Pill Club, it's like having full access to your doctor all the time. Uh, If you ever have any questions about your prescription or want to see about switching brands, the licensed medical team is just a text away to answer all your questions. All you need is a five, uh, five minutes to sign up and your birth control is on its way. No more office visits or long lines at the pharmacy ever again. Right now, when you go to the pillclub.com slash chatty, the pill club is offering a $10 donation to bedsider.org for every chatty broads listener who becomes a patient. So your donation will help low income individuals get access to birth control through bedsider.org. That's the pillclub.com slash chatty to get your first birth control care package and donate to help more women in need of affordable birth control. Remember, that's the pillclub.com slash chatty. And you have to use that link in order for the donation to be made. Uh, Broads, I'm very guilty of wanting to have my cake and eat it too. Like a lot of people, this is especially true when it comes to cooking. I want restaurant quality meals, but I want to enjoy them from the comfort of my own home. I want to try new cuisines and fun recipes, but I don't want to spend a fortune on ingredients I may never cook with again. You get the idea. That's why this year I am leaning heavily on HelloFresh to help keep things interesting and easy in the kitchen. HelloFresh is such an amazing resource for cooking and It's also a great resource for eating delicious homemade meals. Each week, you get to pick from over 50 different menu and market items. You got things like creamy dill chicken and one pan black bean tacos. Okay, that's the hardest part, picking out your options, because trust me, everything looks amazing. Then HelloFresh will deliver pre-portioned, partially prepared ingredients and easy to follow recipes right to your door. Most meals can be ready in 30 minutes or less. So no matter how much or how little time you have, a homemade meal is always in the cards. I love HelloFresh because it's an easy easy way to get the whole family involved in the cooking process because the ingredients are pre-portioned. I can let my daughter Ember help out and even lead the charge from time to put uh, from time to time. She loves helping out and I love that we get to spend time together. HelloFresh really is the best of all the worlds. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Chatty16 and use code Chatty16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Hello. That's hello. Hello, that too. Hello, fresh. <laughs> That's a hellofresh.com slash chatty16. Use code chatty16 to get up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Wait, do you have. Okay, what about you guys? Yeah. We were probably together. We've had uncomfortable hookups. Oh, before. I think the one that takes the cake is your mom. Yeah. That was definitely that one. one of them. Oh, tell this insane. story, please. Please, please tell. Um, <clears throat> we were. Go ahead. No, go. I mean, like, I'm trying to think of which. Are you thinking about the one in your old house? Yes. In like the escapee yes. situation. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> well, oh, no. you know, How old were you guys. Eighteen, maybe. Okay. Uh, in the house, like starting the whole process. <laughs> you know, my pants are off. Her Start shirts off. Process. Like the whole thing, right? We're like in the middle of it. Bras <laughs> off. We hear the cl- like click of the full blown door, like way you know the classic way too early. We didn't know she's gonna be home, so I'm literally nude, <laughs> fully nude. Like, like I mean, like I might have like like a sock on. Your okay. shoes are probably still on. Let's it be was, it, and it got tactical real quick. Like, were you, were you a leave their socks on kind of guy? No, no. I think we were just. Are like, you, we were just I mean, rolling. are you? No, I mean, I'm I'm confused. Are you, were you guys not. in the living room? So or like, so there was the yeah. front door. And then, like right from the front door, there was a little side room that was kind of like the uh, the the room we'd watch TV in, and we started hooking the up parlor. In there. The par- <laughs> oh, you mean the, the parlor? parlor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you talking about the par those quarters? The of billi- my home? Oh, your, the tea oh, your room. billiards room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. That was our tea room. We only drank tea there. Um, but no, we um we were. It was just like right to, next to the front door, though. Right next to the front door. You're completely oh, nude. Yeah. No. I'm thinking of the one we're in the front room, not not the front, but you know, like the living room with the TV. Oh. That's, How that's many literally- times have you guys been caught? There, never. A, a okay, lot. no, this is kind of not a caught. This is kind of pseudo caught because we found out later she she knew the whole time, but she played it off like she didn't to like spare okay. us. Okay, sneaky woman. So literally, we hear the click of the door. I'm naked. Okay, 
So I am like, oh my, and I grab my stuff, but I only grabbed like a little bit of it because I couldn't get it in time. So I grabbed like a pair of pants, a sock, and like, that's it. Maybe my shirts and or jackets on the other side of the room. I pick it up, still nude, and it was like a movie. Like mom walks in, I go around the island, like staying <laughs> low. <laughs> Are you serious? Ninja, serious. Oh, yeah. And there's like a huge, there's like a big kind of wall section in between like the kitchen. So I'm able to kind of like watch, like hear her steps and naked do one of these things. So she's walking in. Jess is like disheveled, but like acting like she's just I had gotten, TV or something. I had just had had my top off yeah. and my bra. So I put those on jumping, really quick. You just start doing jumping no, jacks. I was, I was like, oh my God, hi, mom. <laughs> How have you been? I feel like we haven't talked for a while. I was like following her into the kitchen, like trying to start up a conversation, watching Evan and New do like this thing up against the wall. <laughs> and I'm literally no like way. Mission impossible naked, like doing the thing where she's like walking and I'm walking, you know, like a classic. So he gets back to the front room, gets all of his clothes on as I'm trying to talk to her. So that by the time my mom goes, I still have more groceries in the car and she starts walking back. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Like I still want, I have things I want to talk to you about. She gets to the front door. Evan's standing at the front door, fully clothed, and is like, "Sylvia, how are you? Can I help you with some of those?" Like, like toilet flushing in the back room, kind of like you know, like like made it look like I was just in the restroom. I just got there. Like, Pulled what's it off. going on? Pulled it off. So it wasn't actually. Wow. Wait, so you think she knew the whole time? No. So so we thought like pulled it off beautifully and then like a year later she's like, "Oh yeah, that one time I fully knew." We like high fived each other constantly about it. We're like, "Remember that one time?" She's like, "Yeah, the belt was on the floor. Like your hair was like this, and you were breathing heavy, and Evan was right like." The principal caught us once. Um, we were we were in the parking lot, and I was going down on you at our high school. And the pri- yeah. all we hear just like rat that that on the window, and the principal <gasps> is looking in. No, and that's he's like, bad. And he's like Ambrose Collins, knock it off, go back to class. And so we ran, scurried back to class, <sighs> and then I got called in to the principal's office. He didn't, I did, and the principal is just like, I'm worried about you. You know, you were a good kid. And I well, don't yeah, know. because you were obviously the aggressor in the situation. And I, and I said, Evan, dude, I didn't victim. even want it. As I said, I said, I didn't want it. Honestly, but I was there. I, I don't even know I was, her. I would think that I, I was, I, I don't I know, I met her today. <laughs> Jeez, does she even go here? I, who is she? I, did, I don't. <laughs> she's just slurping around the place. She's just too aggressive. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's actually really cringy, though. That's a pretty bad Oh, one. and he called me in, and he was like, I'm worried about you. You were a good kid, blah, blah, blah. I was like, but then he goes, he goes, like, uh, he starts talking, and then he's like, oh, has anyone told you you ever look like Belinda Carlisle? And I'm like, who's who's that? And he's like, she's a singer of whatever band. He's like, she used to be my big crush in high school. And I was like, I have to go. <laughs> I, like, took off. I have to go. Bro, even come, going up and knocking on the window of people that's heavy. going down on each other, that's creepy. Sketchy. I'm sorry. Very sketchy. It's sketchy. <laughs> Just turn a turn a blind eye. I'll be done in, like, 30 seconds. Kids bro. will be kids. Big of a deal. Yeah, but these are kids seconds, in high school, Becca. dude. Yeah, 40. But you, but that's what I'm saying is almost like creepy <laughs> to go up and knock on the window of high schoolers having sex. I mean, it's one thing if you're a cop, but if you're well, like, they weren't having sex, right? No, was, I was going down, was and, but it was, dick. but it was a very small sex. school. Like it was like 150 kids. Like he knew right. all of us. So that made it even more uncomfortable. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, some huge high school and you like knock on some window and keep walking. It was yeah, like, it's not like it was like Santa Monica high. No, it's not 2000 kids. No, there was just a few you're of just us regulating like pregnancies. It's oh, like no, definitely bro. like we had that is the 4, way to regulate kids, pregnancy. Four thousand kids and we had full on daycare. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That is there's incredible. like a full daycare daycare facility at the high school. Wow. That's a, okay, that's, I, I think that's cool, man. It's like it was super cool. Super cool. At lunch you'd see the baby train. No. They'd have those strollers. The strollers where it fits like, you know, like 10 rows of kids. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, LA is so, so different. Crazy. That is the coolest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, you'd have girls going to high school, going to class. Of course. It's like, you know. Well, it's good for people to have an option. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, know that they Taking can care Honestly, it was like, with the size of the school, it was like, you kind of did get exposed to a little bit of everything. And just kind of. you had what, like 4,000, 5,000 Yeah, 4,000 kids. So you had people coming from all over West LA. And yeah, it was definitely like, I don't know. I feel like it was good. Or just get variety yeah. on like 
to have something like that be normal to just be like yeah some oh, yeah. people and a constant reminder of like yeah you can get pregnant at 16 years old and have a baby and you also have the option and like, suddenly you need to be like what are you yeah and what if are your you parents, doing about that if you have parent if you want to have the child and your parents are at home and they're like i'm not taking care of that baby you're like well at least i and know that there's someone school. who can help during school yeah, yeah. And it's public school so it's like it's also prov- it's provided daycare it's not like it's you know it's just there Pass, anyway that's lovely. Um, it's pretty cool. I feel like I've brought this up so much in real life, but never on the podcast. What I think is so weird looking back on is, did you guys ever do that thing where like you'd be at a friend's house and it would be like that friend's house whose like parents are divorced. So you're over at the dad's house who doesn't give a fuck. And then like th- two or three couples are just like in a room in the dark. You guys are all hanging out and you guys are all just hooking up in the same room in the dark. What the fuck was up with that shit? It's Pinky as fuck, and yet it was the most normal <laughs> thing. Like, I remember being with two other couples in a big-ass SUV parked, like, at the park, and we're all just fucking, like, Dude. fingering each other or whatever the fuck in the car. Like, yeah. just yeah. in our separate little couples, just, just doing totally our thing. Totally could look over and just check out exactly what's going on. But, like, it, but it wasn't even, like, a, a second thought. My Did you friends? guys do that shit? Oh, completely, yeah. So weird, right? Like, at <laughs> what point did you transition out of it where it oh, became weird? I, like- <laughs> I remember hooking up in a 15-passenger van, like, not in the back row. Yeah. Yo, like, as you know, we like, were you know, driving. Like the, like, the white vans that, like, the, have the yes. sections. I remember, like, there's, like, the first one, there's, like, the middle one, and then there's the back one. I remember being in the middle. We were on our way to a missions it's trip, my God. Horny teenagers yeah. have the lowest standards. They don't care. But I just don't even remember like it crossing my mind as like a weird thing. It was just what we did. What was weird for me was I visited my friends in UCSB at UC Santa Barbara. Oh, in college, okay, yeah, yeah. And they lived on Playa on Playa Vista, so these are like beachfront properties. And they told me that you know these houses were going for like it was like ten to twelve thousand dollars a month. You rent these houses for, so you have and they're like four bedroom houses. But like twelve people live in the house, and everyone's paying like a thousand dollars a month. That's what people would do in Newport. So they take like one of the bedrooms, and there would just be a row of like four to five beds oh with God. just bed sheets <gasps> dividing them. There, people paying a thousand dollars a month, and it was like sar- literally sardines. Oh and this my is, God! That was normal. This is back like the Industrial Revolution. That was normal <laughs> on those things, and that was like how people's college relationships operated. Was like you just smash in between bed yeah, sheets. Yeah, it's like the Jersey Shore. And you didn't give a fuck. People would you? Just, they were like, yeah, you just sleep with your headphones in. Everyone listens to music to go to bed. I mean, and that was that's like, a little. But you're still the trying girls' to preserve, houses were the same way. You're though, the still guys trying houses, to preserve like, some decency, though. If you have with a sheet the fucking in bed sheet. Yeah, it's like a brothel. But that's still different <laughs> than like I remember practically like being on the same bed, like on to two sides of a queen bed, just fucking hooking I up. I feel like when you're 16, though, it's like whatever. That's There's what I'm a little, saying. It's a little more what, innocent. That's when you're what I'm like saying. When does it transition? Tw- when you're like 20 years old. Yeah, I don't know when no, that. I, I wasn't doing. Th- I wasn't doing that at 20. No, I wasn't. I, I wasn't either. I don't know when that when that changed. I do remember being in high school. And we'd be like, we'd be in my pa- the jacuzzi at my parents' I house. Mean, there'd be three couples, and we'd all be like going at each other. You're like no one's hands are above water. No, everything's I mean, yeah, under the water, <laughs> squished that, together. That couple's having anal over there. You guys, you turn on the you turn on the tide pool effect in the jacuzzi. It's a full orgy, unintentional. How much Just, has changed though? You know, like if you're if the planets are in the right alignment, you know. I think like it may be changed. <laughs> You're so creepy. Hey, you know uh, how it is. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> I feel like though, I don't know, because I got in a serious relationship my senior year and I felt like once I got in a real relationship, we yeah. weren't doing it anymore. Whatever. We have <laughs> like low my standards. Senior year. Me and Becker are about to have two kids and we're just dating. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that. All right. What's this? What's the next question? (laughs) Okay. So this isn't a sex one. We have to. We have to balance this out. I think you you guys have done this before, but it was like your favorite thing about your partner and the thing that drives you the most crazy. Well, why don't we say during the quarantine? Oh, that's a yes. Because that way it's not so like general, <sighs> okay. overbearing, yeah, love romantic. That. Love that's that. She's a, she's a professional people. She's a professional. Okay. <laughs> okay. During quarantine, favorite and thing that drives me nuts. 
Oh, I've already got the thing that drives me nuts. <laughs> it's probably going to be the same thing that drives me nuts from the opposite perspective. Ooh. Spill it. Um, Sounds like you guys are ready then, to roll. All right, say the thing. item. Say the item on three. What? The the thing that it centers around your complaint. Okay. One, two, three. Coffee. TV. No. Oh, <laughs> I knew right, it wasn't going to be the problems. same thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Now we have two problems. I knew it wasn't going to be the same thing. Okay, the thing that's driving me the most crazy is that Gray is leaving his beverages all over the house within reach of Ruth. I just have, I told him yesterday, I was like, please, just when you set down your beverage, put it out of Ruth's reach. Oh, because God. That there amount has been. of coffee and beer well, that has been spilled around the thing. house. It's driving me nuts. Everything that I'm drinking out of, she needs to she have. She needs to have it. She but needs to have the beer, the wine, the coffee. She needs to drink it. She needs it. We have She's a nice a rug, girl. and I was, I was um, talking the direction of the on machine. my computer, and Ruth just dumped my entire coffee cup, like a full cup of coffee, just upside down, like trying to drink my beverage. Oh, God. And a white rug. Oh, no. Yeah. Love that. So that was rough. And then it's happened like three times after that. I just, and and then also in the time she hasn't spilled it, I but keep, I need to have my I coffee. Keep finding it right before she grabs it, so I'm like, just put it out of reach, or get a spill proof cup. Yeah, you you you, you, need, you need to drink out of a a child's cup with a little sippy lid on it, <laughs> like the little ones you have to bite down. You know those ones I'm talking about. There's two choices here. <laughs> yeah, but for me, we try to like be be cognizant of not doing like a lot of screen time with Ruth. So it's like, you know, limited to maybe half an episode of Mr. Rogers neighborhood a day. Um, Child's so play. I usually <laughs> within five minutes, within five minutes of putting her to bed, I've got the TV on. Cause I'm like, it's veg out time. And every single time she's like, how would I know? <laughs> how'd i know the tv is gonna be on <laughs> oh let's not do that right now let's clean the whole damn house again oh yeah before you watch tv <clears throat> the clean thing is like very much like a it's like a mood uh-huh. it's like all of a sudden the person is ready to clean and it's, it's almost like being like i'm ready to run <laughs> it's 10 so miles true. anytime anytime we're like it's oh yeah we're like, gonna watch a it's movie it's kind of like when you're in the really in the mood for sex and the other person isn't and you're like, I have to do you this now. You have to. All of a oh sudden, my you're, my anxiety is like skyrocketing. I'm like, the house is <laughs> disgusting. And like, I have you to sit clean down. it all. You sit Dude, down. Are you like that at night, Jess? Because I get like that at night, ran very randomly. Not at night, in the day. Typically during the oh, okay. day when Ember's awake. And so then I toss Ember to Evan and I'm just like, I must clean. And he's just like, wait, I thought that I was going to be able to. I was like, no, I'm anxious. I have to do it now. <laughs> Becca's is whenever we're about to press play to start a movie. Yeah, no, yeah, that would be rough. <laughs> You're finally She's like, settling oh, I down. Can't. I just can't watch the movie knowing what the kitchen looks like. Well, when we finish dinner and then go right into the movie. Yeah. Okay, you guys tell your least favorite things, and we'll COVID all random. Peeves. You go. I know my favorite right now too. Um. So during the quarantine, um, I would say my least favorite thing is that. Evan has started to use the bathroom often. And when I say often, I mean like once an hour for like fucking 30 minutes. And I'm like, I know you're not shitting. Okay. Like I am aware that you're not shitting. I hear. I hear. It's the Wi-Fi is better in there. (laughs) <laughs> like i hear your whatever the fuck you're listening to like like whatever podcast you're listening to i hear it from the bathroom and we both are dealing with ember now so hey <laughs> like, how many dads do you think pretend to poop on a regular basis to escape just like a little bit of peace and quiet too. from their kids and mothers too okay sure, let me be very clear about something i do it a lot <laughs> i never fake the poop i it's a back, it's a in back the bathroom end problem. After. It's a back end problem. No pun intended. It's like a, I pooped and then I'm going to just add 20 to this. <laughs> okay. What about oh. me? Uh, you. Um, okay. It's, Nothing, babe. You're perfect. It's just that you smile too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. You know what? It's a, you're, the thing is you're too patient about my shortcomings. You work too hard and you care too much. <laughs> you should come down on me a little more. You know, I'd like to grow more. You're too kind. <laughs> Um, okay, it's similar to the cleaning thing that you're talking about, Gray, but it's not. Um, well, I'm going to go two things. Uh, <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're, they're small. So, so they're not, I'm going to stack it, but they're small stacks. So it's not a big deal. The first one is that you get randomly overwhelmed with like life. 
mm-hmm. at random times that are the most inconvenient incon- <laughs> on the planet Earth. So here's how it works with me. I'm about to jump into a session. I'm about to do like I have a whole session set up. It's four hours of work. Here we go. And 14 <laughs> seconds before I'm walking out, it's like, I can't do life anymore. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, that is a massive like comment. And I, I like, this isn't like, a, oh, quick, can you grab that thing and bring it out? It's like a, we need to talk for four hours about how life is structured. And I'm just like, uh, I'm like, we need to start this from the ground up. Okay. Like, and, we're, Honestly, this isn't working for me. Yeah. No, what? it's like this, this everything. I'm like, <laughs> kind like of. the structure of our whole life is not working for me. And it's just her being like, yo, I'm having a, a day, but I hear it as like, okay, cool. I'm texting the guy on zoom being like, Hey, I'm going to, I need 20 minutes to get to the, I just, I, I stubbed my toe. Can you give me a second? Like whatever. <laughs> I have to poop. Yeah. I have to go back. <laughs> the two, she's calling my name. <laughs> And then the other small one is me and Gray are very like on the same page here. Right as I'm about to fall asleep, she goes, Hey, can you scratch my back? <laughs> can you scratch my yeah, back? I'm like, That's I'm, I'm like, what? I need it. And she's like, can you scratch no. my back? He's like, can you get to work? Basically. <laughs> can you start, can you start sweating like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, I'm in the most uncomfortable we position We will ever. literally, we'll literally be going to bed hop into bed turn the lights out and that's when becca starts the serious conversations oh got it oh yeah, as soon as the lights are off really so you have this, literally you, you, it's we like have, no, it's the most i'm i'm half asleep and she just drops like A the bomb. two-ton question <laughs> yeah literally the bomb and i'm like immediately immediately just razor sharp on edge because i'm ha- i'm like are you kidding any We're going to start a six hour conversation. Just are you attracted at 11 to 30? my friend more than me? Well, what? that's one of our questions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then on the opposite can you, end. Can you just be like, good night, baby. I love you. Love you too. Can you tell me why you love me? <laughs> I think that that can be a simple, sweet answer. And Grayson's always like, then his response is like, why do you ask me this all the time? <laughs> Okay, on the flip side, though, he will get in bed like he'll stay up like 45 minutes later watching TV and then he'll get in bed. And when I'm dead asleep, I do not like being woken up out of dead ass sleep. No, no. Wake her up every time. No. And that's the time every an time. hour later when Gray comes to, to spoon me and be like, you know why I love you? And I'm like, get the fuck <laughs> off me now. Revenge. Especially Revenge. pregnant. You're like, I'm finally I'm like, comfortable. How dare you wake me? How dare you wake me from my slumber? Or is he just trying to get laid? No, he's literally oh. just like, oh, he's just telling I'm you. So gr- he's literally like, I'm just so grateful for you and what you do for and our like, family. Too late. And it's when I'm asleep. <laughs> when I'm, I'm like, and then I'll be like, babe, I'm asleep <laughs> right now. That's very sweet, but I'm asleep. Okay, my favorite thing is that <laughs> my favorite thing is that uh, it kind of reminds me when we first started dating because Grayson's been cooking a lot for me. But I think it's just because he's happy because he's been surfing and stuff and he ha- yeah. does have more time on his hand. So he'll just be like happily cooking in the kitchen oh, that's while nice. me and Ruth are like doing something in the living room. And then we have like delicious, lovely meals and it's the best. That's my favorite thing right now. This week at least. That, <laughs> this week and it's lovely. Gray? It's been, I mean, having a, being able to go surf's been super <laughs> no, my nice. Fame. <laughs> I love you, dude. I haven't seen you in a while. You're killing me right now. That's just like my favorite. That's just the best response you get. Don't even, no, that's it. We're done. Now it's our turn. That was it. That was the best. That was, you just, you, you, a, you aced it. You aced it, dude. You know what just happened, dude? You were asleep in class and the teacher called on you and you're like, yeah, uh, Bulgaria. And you're like, what? This is math. And you're like, ah, that was worth a shot. (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm crying. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Jess, what's your favorite thing? Oh, my God. We'll go back to you, 
gray up. <laughs> You're welcome back. He's like, yeah, I like surfing too. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been top notch. The waves have been fire. <laughs> um, I'm on board. <laughs> um, well, my favorite thing is that <laughs> is that Evan makes me laugh really hard, and we also just like can talk about everything. So it's been so nice to have be with someone who I just like. He's like my favorite person. To, like go to dinner with, anyways. When. We're not in quarantine. I literally thought you were joking when you started this. I don't no. know why. You're like, we make each other laugh so much. And I was like, uh, that's good. It's like another work too hard, care too much. You're like, nice. <laughs> you know, when you're stuck in quarantine with your twin flame, nothing could be better. Our, our fire is literally, we don't use a heater here. Our fire. Is- we don't need that bullshit because our passion <laughs> <laughs> no but it's true i i i he's just he's we have fun talking together so it's like at nighttime i haven't felt you know what it is i haven't felt really lonely and i thought maybe i would when it was like oh i can't see my friends mm. and i miss a lot of my friends but at the same time it's like okay at the end of the day like when we were eating dinner together like we have fun conversation and i don't feel lonely Dude, for real i've been hearing people say stuff like like apparently more people are divorcing and separating and stuff right now which i don't know how that works when you can't leave your house but what a nightmare but i do feel like it's 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 pretty clarifying when you're like oh this person is definitely one of my best friends and i still like i like being stuck with them and it's actually yeah i feel like it's gotten more fun as the weeks have gone by than like worse it's kind of like we're loosening up into everything the more time we spend so it's like oh well luckily we're not with like knives at each other's throat yeah. We're basically just hanging out with Ruth every single day. Yeah, it's like, like Saturday every single morning. It's crazy. <clears throat> yeah. Evan wants to kill me when it comes to that. <laughs> when it comes to what? The work. Cause you mean you working? No, like you... <clears throat> Evan's Evan's job is in the phase four. It's stage four for the yeah. opening. For real. And so it's like... And, and he's like... He's happy. You're happiest when you're like... When I'm you know. working a lot, I just love it. I love working a lot. I like busy. I like traveling. Pinkering, it's just yeah. like, because like right up until this happened, I think I worked 30 days straight, like 10 hour days. And I, tra- oh, yeah. I traveled. You were like buckling four down times. for a season. And I was buckling down for like the season was two, gonna be three wild. months of like yeah. hardcore. And I love it. Like it's my favorite thing to do. I love what I do. I like traveling. I like like working with different artists. And And it was like, you know, when your head is just like, here we go. And then it like, I remember I was, yeah, I'm, I'm curious because with you, Gray, but I remember I was in rehearsal and all of a sudden the email started hitting. Like I was in rehearsal, was like ding, 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 ding. And I was like, this Corona thing's getting really crazy. And it was 24 hour period where like it, when I had, I went from like two, three months of work straight to zero. And the rehearsal that I was in was like six, like three, four more days. And we had, and when they cut it down to like just one more day. It, so it was just literally like, so it was like in, you lived in a tree house and like some dude just was like, oh, cool. And I just cut the tree down and you just whole thing well, fell. It was crazy. I remember when we were talking about him having to close like hypothetically and I didn't yeah. really think it was going to happen. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, no, we got shut down today. That's so and then wild. also like we had the idea in our head of like, oh, sweet. We'll just go camping. For, two, like, weeks, two weeks. A week. that yeah, exactly. That's what I two thought. Two weeks too. is closed. Yeah. yeah. We're like, we'll go camping. Like we'll go do some climbing. And then before it was like. Immediately, it was like campgrounds shut down. Like, can't leave right. your house. Oh and it was yeah. Like, oh no, we, the four. Like you and I were talking, Becca. We're like, let's record like a bunch, kind of like in a row, and then we'll just kind of like do our thing for two weeks, and you know, and go to Palm Springs. Nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Anyway. Uh, enough of the enough Evan. of the COVID. Um, Evan. Okay, my favorite thing about <laughs> Jess is that she doesn't ever like she doesn't ever play the role of like tit for tat of like i have this much to do you have this much to do therefore you take the kid for this long you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. she's always just like if i have a spare moment to take the kid i'll take her or if Mm -hmm. i have a spare moment to take care of this you can go and do your thing and i think that like that's hard in these positions right we're all kind of fighting for those moments of of breath and so she never makes me feel like there's never feels like there's a there's a there's a board and like, 
I watched it for oh, this. Oh, I have you the board I mean? going. I have that's, the tallies Yeah, I was going to say, that's beautiful. No, that's we what I'm saying. And I feel like, for tally. and I even feel like I'll feel that way sometimes and I'll kind of like have a moment, you know, but like she never does. And I think that she totally could because I am not nearly as busy as she is. And so I think that like that's a very beautiful thing is that you don't, like you're always just willing to like, help hook me up and so i just it's yeah. we'll break down the last month of how many times we watched ruth for each other <laughs> <laughs> hours you got like well yeah look at that little guy that's ashley <laughs> our small pup just came on the screen for anyone listening <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> it's just look at that something little guy. weird just happened <laughs> Clearly, we are not we are not abiding by quarantine protocol. There is a there is a small man apparently. <laughs> she is so cute. Thank you. She's she's the light oh of my, my life. <laughs> she is the best. Did we feel so bad because we Ruth loves little dogs? She loves any kind of dog, and we're just like no. But she loves cats more, and we have cats. That's so. good. She's so cute chasing the kitty cats. Gray, are you going to say something about Becca before we wrap? Oh, a nice thing. The thing that I love the most yes. about Becca. Mm-hmm. During the quarantine times, the Corona times. I will say. Um, I love that her business hasn't been affected. <laughs> thank you, Broads. <laughs> um, we love you. Thank you, listeners. Like, I, mean, like, I love that me and Gray are both just like stay at home dads. We're like, thank you. We want to take the time to thank all of our sponsors. <laughs> I, just, I have a That's list. Fun. How thank would we do so it? So much. That? I'm looking directly at you. Greg, okay. Gray, and Evan are both wearing Broad Squad at, T-shirts. I'm, They're just like yeah. hardcore fans now. <laughs> Their shirts aren't even Broad Squad. It's just like Hello Smile. Um, <laughs> fat fit fun <laughs> Rothy's thank you You're use code <laughs> use code we love Gray and Evan for an extra 10% off on broad merchandise after this episode releases <laughs> oh my god okay so what were you going to say uh, no I think um, my favorite thing about Becca is simultaneously one of the things that gets on my nerves the most which are the things of like we don't need to watch TV tonight. Like we busted out her mm. art box the other night as like, we literally aren't using it throughout the entire day. So it gets on my nerves sometimes. And I'm like, the TV, I yeah. know for a goddamn fact, people are just sitting blowing through series <laughs> every single day. And like, we're not doing that. So leave me this moment, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like serenity now, <laughs> but she's like, no, because we always talk about wishing we had more time to do things yeah. like, both of us painted for like she's still doing painting and stuff like that but like i took painting in college and high school and she's like let's bust out the oil paints let's bust out acrylics let's you know we the other night we made um a big what do you call it i used some term and it was like clearly a term my mom had made up (laughs) hodgepodging no hodgepodge is like he's just making well yeah we just we yeah we're making a collage on a canvas to later paint on and it was like you know pushing us to spend our time doing that kind of stuff because i feel like we're not alone in always fantasizing about wanting the time to do projects like that yeah and now she's really pushing us to actually do it because we have the time i hate wasted time and I do love that we actually are doing things like that in this mo in this time, which is allowing us to have like a positive headspace mm-hmm. when dealing with things like we were talking about before. Like we're on a delayed program. These deadlines don't mean shit for you and me right now. Yeah. Ours are completely ambiguous and up in the air. So feeling like we are getting something. You guys are going to remember it like this forever. real. Yeah, like it's yeah. an it's an amazing experience to have like a, a thirteen or fourteen month old daughter right now that we get to spend endless time with. It's such a fun age to you be know? stuck with her at right now. Oh, at it's home. the best. And we're fortunate age. that oh given God. like we still have, we're still making ends meet. Yeah, you know, broad, broad squad, <laughs> broad squad, strong. <laughs> yeah, all my money's gone. <laughs> We completely honestly we haven't <clears throat> been spending any time together we've just been online shopping like crazy the money I, is out oh <laughs> bro i have to say some i've been getting a little carried away <laughs> with the online shopping dude the online shopping deals are nuts they're crazy i don't have like i don't have any casual business i don't really have any nice clothes i'm pretty much like shorts t-shirt gym shoes that's it like vans 
So we went on, I was, we went on some sites and I was like, oh, Banana Republic's like 60% off. Here we go. Oh, Every <laughs> single freaking clothing store is like 60% Gray's off Gray's right head now. to toe Gucci. <laughs> it's like there's no money Dude, left. Dude, that's cooking and Gucci. Cooking and Gucci, check. my new show. <laughs> that stimulus tech from Donald just went straight. <laughs> to my new straight slides. Straight into some new wardrobes. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Broad's interrupting us and our partners and the chaos one more time. Uh, it's a new year, which means I am suddenly itching to refresh, redo, and rearrange my entire house oh. because it's time for a fresh start, <laughs> baby, too. right? Uh, but if you've ever updated your space, then you know it's not easy. For me, I sometimes struggle finding pieces that all work cohesively together throughout my entire space, not just one room. But thanks to the help of Jenny Kane, this home refresh is actually turning out to be a lot easier than I thought. Okay, Jenny Kane has Everything, everything you need to create the space of your dreams from timeless furniture to elevated accents whatever your home needs this year jenny kane can help the entire aesthetic of jenny kane is effortlessly california californian think natural woods interesting textures bright airy fabrics but paired with timeless craftsman craftsmanship and elegant design work everything is gorgeous it's so beautiful my dream piece from jenny kane is that brentwood chair oh i mean broad God. this piece is perfect don't get me started oh. googling them right now while oh i'm God. supposed to be doing this ad read it's too good God. okay and while it's definitely a dream piece there are so many other ways i can add that jenny kane touch in the meantime for instance jenny kane's candle collection makes my entire home smell like a luxurious seaside mm. spa or the cashmere throws on the site Nothing more luxurious than lounging have around with the cashmere their frickin', throw. Have you seen their freaking nesting baskets? Because oh, I just did gosh. online and I need them all now. They're so good. It's little moments of luxury that Jenny Kane is all about. And it makes a huge difference in all the spaces. Create the space you'll never want to leave at JennyKane.com. Get 15% off your first order when you use code Chatty at checkout. Yeah, 15% off your first order. So if you're ordering a whole bunch of furniture, pff, use our big, code. Yes, yes. Go to J E N N I. K-A-Y-N-E dot com promo code chatty. Jenny Kane. Uh, I have never been more ready to celebrate every event in life. Not more than I am now. Okay. After two Ugh. years of no birthday parties, oh no big gosh. holiday gatherings, no summer barbecues. I am hoping that I can celebrate every little thing in 2022 mm. and nothing makes a get together more special than an intentional invitation. My go-to has always been Evite. They make celebrating life's little moments so simple. Oh, yeah. Evite offers thousands of free invitation options, which are all fully customizable for whatever you need them for. Birthdays, weddings, baby showers, holiday parties, and so much more. And Evite's community of professional artists have created so many designs for you to choose from, or you can upload your own design right on the site, which is really cool. But Evite doesn't just stop at providing amazing design options. No. You can even upload your contact lists. You can get your invites sent out in minutes. You can track the RSVPs on your Evite account and even upload a registry or gift list, and it's all free. I have used Evite so many times for so many different occasions over the years. There's something about receiving a proper invitation that just makes whatever you're celebrating that much more special. My favorite feature on Evite has to be the RSVP tracker, though. It makes it super simple for your guests to let you know they're coming, and it makes it super simple for you to keep track and even send a reminder to those who haven't heard from them yet. I love when someone sends me an Evite reminder. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot that I had RSVP'd to that. It just makes it so smooth. Planning any kind of party or uh, or celebration is a lot of work, but when you use Evite, you have one less thing to worry about. Plus, it's more environmentally friendly than yeah. paper. Way more. Evite is helping make my celebrations feel extra special, and they can help you, too. Head over to evite.com slash chatty to choose from thousands of design options to create and send invitations for free. That's E-V-I-T-E dot com slash chatty. Evite dot com slash chatty. Okay, I got some, uh, I'm going to sprinkle in some like Mary fuck kill. Oh, oh yeah, let's please. Get some let's get those going. Let's get those going. Beverage. All right. Mary fuck kill. Donald Trump, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. Voice first. Oh, God. Trump, Sanders, Hillary Clinton. Oof. Mary Sanders, fuck Trump, kill Hillary. Wow. You're going to fuck Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton? For revenge. <laughs> <laughs> For revenge. You know, like I could really build his expectations up and then dramatically let him down. <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> see, I understand that because make, make him think that I was invested for a lot more than I wanted <laughs> when really 
It was just a quick thought, a Friday, a quick Friday night flame. <laughs> no, yeah, that's the part. Gray would make Donald fall in love with him, and then he would really screw him over. <laughs> Fuck him up for life. Do that one. Make him hesitant. The one that ever, got away. <laughs> make him hesitant to ever emotionally engage in another relationship. Oh, uh, make him second again. guess himself. Yeah. So he just becomes so insecure. <laughs> Put him through years of therapy. Like we should do this thing, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Have him looking backwards on this moment, just wishing <laughs> that he'd never noticed me. Oh, my God. It's just, you make him incredibly insecure. Oh, yeah. my God. What about you, Ev? Um, I'm going to marry Hillary because she's got that, like, crazy money. So I'm yeah. gonna, she's got Walmart money. She's, she's just got, got like she's got like power. political thirty year career money that like is buried yeah. in you know Panama banks like the you know so she's got some offshore accounts that are just insane. So I'll be I'll be just like the dude who like cruises around in her nice cars and you know <laughs> sends her texts and be like you got it girl you're gonna win and then <laughs> and then I will uh, I guess I'll have to kill Trump. Okay. And then... I'll, so you'd fuck Bernie Sanders? I'd fuck Bernie, fuck Bernie Sanders, Sanders because I think he'd be generous. He'd be a generous <laughs> lover. He's generous to the people. He's a good guy. I think he'd just be... He's like always available. He's like... I'm, he's into that... He's into that socialist he's, sex. He's, he's about, socialist he's all about, sex. He's like, we he's all get fair it. Exchange. No one gets out he's of a, here without pleasure. You he's get He's a it. fair exchange kind of guy. <laughs> These are the best answers I could have. It's a fair with. exchange. I feel bad about murdering Hillary, but she really does. I mean, just she's not doesn't do it for I'm you. Really <laughs> neutral. I feel other ways. Like for, I'm gonna do- marry. I'm gonna marry Bernie's integrity. You know yeah. that goes a long way for yeah. me. And push she'd be a better person. Understood. He'd yeah. make a great father. <laughs> he really would make an incredible father. Incredible. Okay. Um. Hannah, Ann, Maddie, and Kelly. Mary, fuck, kill. Oh, Evan okay. didn't watch this season, so he's out of this okay, one. Okay, so Jess, um, Mary fuck kill. Um, wait, Hannah Ann, Maddie, and Kelly. Mm-hmm. Um, I would, I would fuck Hannah Ann a hundred percent. Yeah, because I would get mm. lost in those eyes, honey, for sure. No, I. Oh, okay. Remember that that was our theory is that no, she, no, no, no. I think that I would marry Hannah Ann though. Hundred. I would marry Kelly. Okay. Kelly's like she is a lawyer. She's my business partner in life in the bedroom <laughs> with our children. So Matt is dead true. at That's the end a of the day. Power so lesbian couple. <laughs> yeah, it is, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so either way, Maddie does not you make it. Sorry, Maddie. Wow, you, so so sorry. you're lovely, but you're just not part of this equation. <laughs> I would marry Hannah Ann because I need someone to do my housewife work and like stage Instagram photos for us. I don't want to deal with that sure. kind of shit anymore. She can take over. She can be the domestic engineer. And I will be the power mind of the couple. I love that. I love that. So then you fuck Kelly. What? So then you fuck Kelly Kelly. or Maddie. Do you not know who these three are? Uh, Hardly. I'm bad with names to start off with. (laughs) And then I I do know who Hannah Ann is. Really? I'm pretty sure. But you would marry the others. I'm not sure you're talking about. Let me look them up while you're talking. Yeah. Wait, you would marry? I'm the least. I was. I, I'm the least. Um, I would. Um, I, I'm the least attracted to Kelly, so I would kill her. Really? And I would. I would have sex with Madison because she seems like way too much. Way too much going on there for a marriage. Okay. And Hannah Ann, because I, I honestly was like. I don't know. Watching the watching the season, I'd be like, Hannah Ann's the one you'd marry off that season. Yeah. She was pretty much like... I don't know. Kelly like, seems chill to marry. Huh? Kelly seems chill Kelly to marry. Kelly does seem chill to marry. And depending Kelly on what also you're looking- laid it out. Kelly laid it out so hard. I'm just disappointed that Kelly is now hooking up with Pete because I thought her speech it, walking off the show I really know. sized it up of like... I know. That's the, so that's the kind of guy you are. Hannah Ann laid it out though. She's like, I literally did every single thing you asked me. Hannah Ann was, and a, that's a when queen. Grayson was like sold. I was like one hundred percent. That's when you got lost in those beautiful eyes for sure. I was, I'm there with you. I'm there with you. Okay, so <laughs> fuck Mary, kill ranch mayo sour cream. Ooh, ranch mayo 
sour cream. I'm marrying ranch for sure. Oh, no, I might marry sour cream. I love sour cream. Yeah, I feel like it's a tough one because ranch, it's a little zesty. So that's more of like, I'm, I'm going to hop in the sack quicker with ranch because it's zesty. Well, you got to think about what are you going to have the most prolonged romance with? Yeah. What's going to make the most sense long term? You can put sour oh. cream in a lot of shit, right? You can use it Dude, as mayo replacement. Is di- <laughs> mayo's got to go. Mayo, I'm about to... Murder mayo Dude, 2020. Mayo, <laughs> mayo and mustard. Mayo and mustard with potatoes, though. What is... I've never heard of such a thing. Like Mayo and mustard with french fries is out of this world good. Ranch, though? Ugh. Ranch isn't as good on French fries as I don't know if mustard. I'm marrying ranch or sour cream. I like ranch on Evan? pizza. Fuck sour cream, marry ranch, kill mayo. Exactly. Sour cream's a little wild. <laughs> really? I feel like sour, sour, well, I would sour probably cream marry... it's literally got a zest to it. It's a little wild. It's a little it's like a one and done, but you don't put it on everything, right? Like sour cream's well, not I like a think of it as like a Scandinavian thing sure. that you could incorporate but ranch in is many like, meals. You, yeah. Ranch is daily. Like yeah, you could, a, you could put a ranch, ranch on a. I, I see. I don't put. A, I don't eat a lot of ranch, but I would if I had more of it around here. Not one of those condiments is in our fridge. They're all forgettable for me. Mm. Dijon mustard. Now we're talking. I'd fuck Dijon mustard and marry it every single day. Dijon mustard, sriracha. Oh yeah, sriracha. Yeah. And wait, wait, wait. Dijon mustard, sriracha, soy and, sauce, and soy sauce. Oh, marry, fuck, kill. That's really hard for me. <sighs> wow, soy I would marry soy sauce. Fuck sriracha and kill the Dijon. Ooh, I do enjoy it. Well. Yeah. Soy sauce is so good to cook okay, with, dude. I'm ready to mix it up and get a I get another uncomfortable. Let's question. do it. Uncomfortable. Okay. <clears throat> Can I have a beer? Come on. This is going to be this is going to be an uncomfy one. Um Okay. This is a quick fun one. How much money would it take for you to leave your current partner? <laughs> I, I honestly, it, I, there's not any amount of money because I would just think like, oh, I could have that money or like I'm happy now with the money that I have. Yeah. The money's not going to make me that. Like I know better now mm-hmm. having made more money than I used to make when I was very, very broke. I know that I'm not anymore. Like, yes, situations are easier, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. But like my life quality and like my happiness isn't any better than when I was broke. So I so know no I feel like. Money? No, oh, I don't. I know. <laughs> I, I had a like, figure in mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet, honey. Two point five mil. <laughs> I'm so glad I let her answer first. He's like, just no, open I up just, the gym again, and you're out. I don't have the same. <laughs> There's no amount of money you could place on Becca. I I just feel like I know better than to know like that's not that's not gonna make me happy and if anything it's gonna make my love life more difficult people are gonna be wanting wanting to get with me because i'm rich as fuck no one's gonna be there for the right reasons it's gonna be difficult it's hard to maintain yeah. that you're here for the right reasons for as long as i have <laughs> it's been a it's been a good cover-up <laughs> in a big all right jess dude. and evan you guys say the number to each other on three one two three i mean it it's i'm, I'm horrible at this but i really do think that like there is it, at this point years and years in four-year-old child like money at this point is just kind of like yeah okay give me give me a hundred million dollars and i sit up in my mansion and then like after like a couple months of partying i'm like cool uh now what hundred million dollars i was gonna say one bill (laughs) one billion billion? well i mean but that's the thing what's the (laughs) conditions what's the conditions because of course it's like this it's like (laughs) it's like oh great i'm gonna leave you for the next like month i'm gonna Uh, leave you for a million dollars you're like you have to never i would just be like listen i'm going to oh my god he dies in a fire (laughs) oh my god (laughs) are we taxed on the money (laughs) yeah exactly exactly (laughs) Is it like the lottery? Like, like there's a tax. I can at the end pay Evan. Like- I'm going to take care of our kid and her grandkids. Like everything, Evan. I'll take care of you, your whole family, so a billion, our family. I'll take care of literally everyone forever. Everyone can do anything. Billion. See, okay. Here's the interesting thing. I mean, yeah. What does, does happen? I'm do you, trying to here, force an. No, I get. Right I get. What does like, happen? Like, does the other person? Does the other person <laughs> does die? The price, no. Does the price no. get cheaper if the kids are gone as well? Oh, like if your whole family's like just so. If it's at, not like, just oh, okay. if it's if it's say say it was I leave Becca for a hundred million dollars, but what's there's the no kids affected leave, in the situation. To be like, I don't even have to deal with the kids. <laughs> I don't have to deal with them. And they're is the bullshit. price less 
Like, is it more expensive for me to just leave Becca? Or if you supersize the deal, would it be like, you know, $72 million? Like, That's the price like to leave everybody. $100 million, but you still got to pay child support and see the kid. Or ten grand, no kid. <laughs> I'm. Looking, and you're like, it might be. I, I need it might be the COVID. Stuff. It might be the COVID situation talking, but I'm almost willing to say it would cost less money for me to leave <laughs> Ruth, my unborn <laughs> son, and Becca. <laughs> than just Becca. I'm just like, how many people in this in this in the Corona freedom, times dude. could you help if you had a billion dollars? How many times have we heard you can't put a price on freedom? Okay, I actually did start. Th- okay, I did start thinking that. I was like, I was like, okay, would it? Be, could it be like? a huge sum so much so that I could feed like the world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like, started because I started thinking about that. Like if I had to if it, like I would want Grayson to sacrifice me if he could like save like t- five million people right, or whatever. Right. So you're kinda like, like, okay. I'm like, okay, I'll sacrifice that for the greater good kind of shit. Yeah, but that's not a drinking game, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's like philosophy that's class like, get out of here with that <laughs> give All us right, the next dirt question. <laughs> okay this one um, is really uncomfortable are we down yeah okay it's real what uncomfortable it? okay what does this mean okay like but but like uncomfortable is such like a spectrum of topics none of us actually have like you guys may you guys may fight about it We've already done that with every single question. We usually fight after all the podcasts. Okay, what's the what's the question? Has there or is there a friend that you're sexually attracted to of your significant others? Are you are you am I sexually attracted? I mean, I feel like like is there a friend of yours that I'm attracted to? Or that is a really uncomfortable question. Or or who like if there's not one like off the top, like who do you find the most attractive? Well, there's Oh, but that's well, there is just in our asking relationship. for Becca's trouble. really good friends with a girl I used to date. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We were literally talking about going on vacation with her as well. And I said, ah, <laughs> that'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, true, actually. That like, sounds like that. a great time. He's like, if I start laying down the groundwork now, we might have. <laughs> we were talking about, we were literally talking about t- going, we were talking about going on vacation to, um, Portugal where I have friends that live in yeah, Portugal. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, we I could saying, invite I was like, oh, I could invite Zoe. And, and I was like, like, oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, because like, oh, I yeah, introduced I them to Zoe when I was dating Zoe. It would, and so they'd already know her. It could be fun. It could be complicated. <laughs> like, what a weird, what a weird predicament to be in. Okay, question um, about this question real quick. I mean, are I we feel saying like names or are we just like using uh, initials or how do we? Because I mean, I, I feel like that's name. an inevitable. There's always like the if you had to choose between all of all the friends who you would fuck or date. Right. Like it's inevitable. There's it's inevitable fighting. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's an uncomfortable question. Oh, no, I don't even mean it's inevitable fighting. I mean, it's just like inevitably true. Obviously, there's someone you're sexually attracted to. No, but I think it goes into like Becca's. It was like what she was saying, like you couldn't put a price tag on it. Is sort of, um, I feel like there's a million people Becca would have a one night stand with. Why are we calling me a slut? <laughs> there's a million. No, people. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, <laughs> obviously, there are plenty. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like sexual. Exactly. Lot, I, I we guess live in really LA. Not that big of a fight we live in LA. So our friends are hot. Friends. Sexy okay, people are a dime a dozen. But, you, but who, who do you want to? We're not answering the question. More than a night with? Is what I'm saying. Oh, who, who is it? Who is it? Okay, if you had to pick out of all, oh, that is, okay, that's bad. Let's just answer. Let's do it. Okay, so out of you have to pick out of all of each of our friends. Oh, I want them to answer fuck. first. We're specific, um, or are we just saying okay? Well, I want them to answer first because they built this up like it was way more of an issue. We're like, whatever. We're gonna drop names right now. Oh no, I'll <laughs> drop names. But what I'm saying is Go, like, drop you know, name. I, I, I'll how about, drop how, about, how about instead of dropping names, just because those people might be no, we're dropping names. And it doesn't like matter. Weird, and then it's it doesn't weird, matter. And we're like, hey. calling them now. We're calling and then it's FaceTime just like, right now. And the next just time we see them, they're like, once hey. if it's Harry. I'm sorry, no, Harry, if you're listening. I'm I'm not. It's never been it, my deal. Be Harry. It's not my cup I of tea. Knew it wouldn't be it's not Harry. my cup of tea. Uh, not my deal. So initials? sad, Harry. Sympathies. I know. I, I, every other woman <laughs> is. Everyone is in love with him, so you know he's fine. <laughs> Harry for Bachelor. <sighs> it's a tough one because I. I don't, I'm not physically attracted. I feel bad saying this now. All of it, if his friends listen, they'll hear this. I'm not physically attracted to any of your friends. 
So Sorry, it's tough. Boys. Okay, but I have okay, been in the, I I have it, it in the past, so I can use old I ones. I think of it. I mean, I think of it like this. It's not necessarily like who would you fuck now with a hall pass because, like, I don't think I would feel comfortable like doing that with any of his friends. It's I sort of think like if Grace was out of the picture and I met all these people at a party, yeah. who yeah. would I be the most likely to hook up with? That's how I think of it because it's a little. It's like I don't know. It's easier to think of because all of them. I'm sort of like I hate and love all of your friends at the same time and I see them in a different light because they're his friends she hates them <laughs> she hates I hate all of your friends they represent <laughs> you not being home so they're all the worst they all represent you not being taking care of your daughter yes so they all rep- they all represent you not being present so bye okay wait Jess so who are like their initials and like why would them their initials, their initials. Or like their name. I mean, I know I. I feel like Grayson's friends aren't going to give a fuck if I just say their name. So I'm just going to. I don't say care it. if none I of say. Going to listen. I. To I. It's tough again because it's like none of your like close friends. Well, I've told you before, out of the people like you know, that I initially go. thought. Oh God. <laughs> Band-aid. This is now Rip awkward now that I think about just it. Go. If he already knows, what's the big deal? No, I told you. I found like Matt to be the most attractive. Wait, so you're just saying <laughs> full blown. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. We're, let's redo that. Let's redo names. that. Go. Like, why? Go, no, no, no. I don't go. want. I don't want go. full names. You you say like why not? You say like full you names. Know why like, full names? Weird. Why? No, but what I'm saying is like I already know who you're gonna one say. Thing, it's one thing to put out. Beep full, it out. Beep it go out. Say yours. We can beep out. We can beep out Evans. I don't mind saying it. I'm just more because like, I know you know I know who Evans gonna say, and it's someone we're close to, and that's why he's uncomfortable. I already know who he's gonna say. This is yeah, really funny because you gave this exact answer and this is the exact answer I would give. I was asking Grayson. <laughs> I was telling I was asking him Mary fuck kill of his friends. And remember you were like, I guess I'd fuck Andy because it'd be the least weird. That's literally my answer. I'm like, I guess I'd fuck Andy because it'd just be the least weird. That was literally Grayson's answer about who he would fuck of his friends. And I feel the same way. OK, do you find him the most physically attractive, though? Because it's not the least weird. It's the most physically no, attractive. But if we were to be I don't know how to describe attractive. it, but I don't know how to describe it. But Andy, I feel comfortable with Andy, so I feel like I would feel comfortable having. If we sex were to get sexually him. involved in real life with any of my friends, it would most likely be Andy and Veronica. Yeah, because they're just weird. Okay, they are not weird. They're lovely. They're not human actually beings. weird. But it would not be weird if we were to have sex with them. No, they're just more open. But no, but I think we're avoiding the question here, which is like the question is of his friends. Which one do you think is that guy? It's not which one are we gonna have a it's threesome not what would be with. The least if, weird. if you were to get yeah. cheat on him Who with, it it's be? just like it's like you were saying, like like you like, said, you never met any of them Grayston before, and you just see these guys, and you just vibe with them, and oh, you know just them. See? Well, see, and you like yeah. spend some time with, and you're kind of like, oh, just, this, at I a bar, like you said. I still think I would maybe pick Andy. <laughs> she likes, or long maybe hair. Declan. They're both very handsome. Oh, <laughs> little, little there's something extra in there you didn't know was coming. A little sideswiper. Ba- based on what you've said, I think that Declan sounds like he would be fun. Oh, look at that! Declan. Yeah, don't know Declan. Fun. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the eyebrows. But I kind of hate Declan at the same time. But I love him. But I kind of hate him. That's why it's interesting. Well, That's why he's it would like be very. Fun. Slightly, his name was his name was the forefront on my mind. I had a feeling she'd say, "Because you always have a lot to say whenever he's brought up." Oh, that's good. Okay, you know what it is. You know what it is. Like he folds the Don't arm. say what it is. Like Don't say what it is. No, Declan. Declan is super <laughs> like swag. It's his end. This is part of why he drives me. Do like not say. Insane. Do not. No. Do not. It's That's his, not part of the question. His, Next no, question. Because he's no, like. No, we're not talking about. Hips. We're not talking about Declan. <laughs> Next question. No, I was just gonna say he reminds me of like the art guys I hooked up with in college. So I'm attracted to him, but then he also bugs me a lot. Because he reminds you the art guys that he hooked up. Yeah. Nice save. Nice save. All right, Evan, go ahead. Lay it on. I feel like I know who it would be, but now you're saying it's not someone we're close to. So wait, no, I, didn't I say think that. it does. Oh, I have also a hard time so. just saying the physical attraction part alone because it's like once you've actually known the person, no, for it really, sure. Like change. I I don't feel like I feel I can, the same way. It's I kind yeah. Of one of those, I like, feel like that way with uh, my I answer. I have to kind of delete. There was someone who used to be a friend of his who, when we were young, I 
when I <laughs> I started, I didn't find <laughs> giggling. Can't even get I, it I, out. No, what the no, hell's no, no, going no, no, on? No, because it's su- it's a super <laughs> awkward one. It makes me so uncomfortable. There was a guy that we knew that you knew, and we. <laughs> This is embarrassing. I didn't. I was not physically attracted to him. <laughs> oh, nice. And then yeah, I started. That wasn't physically. It was just a and spiritual then I kind of, thing. And then get I kind of got here, a crush liar. on him. <laughs> Biggest liar that's on the planet. On, that's such no, a I deeper. Really don't. That's such a deeper admission. No, yeah, I, it's even worse. It's like it was a soulmate. No, that I never got. That's no. such a. That's exactly. <laughs> no. That's a feminine that's, admission that's like right there. Gnarly. To be like you've. Way gnarlier. You, yeah, like, I'm emotionally. Like, like I said, there's a million hot people in there. She's like, no, this was different. That's not like this was, that's this like was a, that's, He was more than a pretty face. This was, that's repetitive. Brain. That's repetitive behavior right there. Yeah, this is like this is caveman. No, you okay, know what okay, it, was? Okay. it was? Let let the woman. It talk. was because it it was just because he was he was older and I respected him and he was like charming and around and it wasn't even real. it was kind of like a kid type <laughs> it's your dad <laughs> it's your seriously I'll i'm like it. i'm racking my no, brain but right it's, now. it's because you know like when you have those people that like when you look back you're like oh i didn't actually i didn't want to like hook up with you it was like a sweet like a younger crush yeah Jess, you don't, do know. you not know who it is oh, i'm first evan's name. dad <laughs> it's evan's dad He's, dude you're i love you bro you're killing me <laughs> It's like this. Yeah, it's incredible. All right. So, what? what is, who is? It? I have no idea what you're about to say. Dwayne. Really? Yeah. Dwayne. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I, good name. I get it. To a, I mean, he was like, he's like 15 years older than us. Maybe older than that. He he makes you feel comfortable. And he was he was like working on production music he's stuff safe, with Evan. He was around daddy. our house a lot, and he just was like he makes you feel like I was trying to do vocals, and he would make me feel special. And so there was kind of this like classic producer hooks you up with the artist type energy, you know. Sure. Nice, got it, listen, got it, you know. sexy, sexy, sexy. <laughs> okay, boys, reveal. Greg, go, <laughs> Bibby, Bibiana, she's. We're like sort of. She's friends. a bitch. She counts as a friend. <laughs> oh, Bibby, like 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 Bachelor Bibby. Okay, I Bibby feel like ill. Anyone? <laughs> I could name anyone. <laughs> no, not friends. We're not. Are you fucking kidding me? No, Bibiana and I are friends. When's no. the last time you saw any of your friends? <laughs> well, that's real. <laughs> that's no, Bibiana. No, no, no. This are is what kidding? I mean. She's been Bibiana for two and years. I are friends, but Gray's never actually met her. He's just like follows her on Instagram. So I feel like baseless. that doesn't what more do you need? That doesn't count. Like seeing but someone I feel Bibi, like that's Bibi's the most honest hot. answer to this yeah, entire Bibi's definitely it's not hot. honest. We're not talking about oh my god, they make me feel comfortable. You were just like <laughs> Well, I mean I just said that. You're gonna have to go just with it. No, 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 no. I guess I was pure thinking, surface level information. I know, but I was I was thinking of like people that we actually interact with that you've actually met. Cause like seeing someone's Instagram pics and thinking they're hot is kinda I feel like it's less juicy. I don't know. I feel like I'm like, oh okay, like that doesn't I want to get heated. I felt like it was a good answer. <laughs> Make how do you me think Bibi's, hurt right, Okay, you. real question. Real question. Yeah. I'm going to flip this one around right now. I mean, how Bibiana think, is so... How like, do you think she's going to feel if you ask me the question, which one of your friends am I going to have sex no, with? And I, I say Bibiana, I mean, and you're like, Bibiana's not my no, friend. No, Bibiana is my friend. I mean, we don't interact regularly. I feel like regularly. her feelings are going to get hurt. No, this Bibiana, is This is, this is the clip friend. that's going to go all over... That's gonna be oh on my people God. tomorrow. It's gonna be like Becca Adams' boyfriend dude. says he'd have sex with Bibiana. <laughs> Bibiana. Just Becca says scandal. she's not friends with Bibiana. <laughs> no, <laughs> on it. Bibiana, care to comment? She's on. She's like, hey guys, I, I this is I'm completely blindsided by this. <laughs> Grayson you, and Bibiana. I Thank are not in on. contact with each other. I don't know who he, with each other. I don't know who he is. <laughs> No, I guess it was just kind of like a disappointing answer in the sense of like, I don't really care You were care hoping about it was going to be like a close okay, friend. A like, better... Bibiana is so hot. I used to say whenever okay, we were in the bachelor better... house, I would just be like, your ass is so perfect. Yeah, she's stunning. You're so like, your skin is so smooth and soft and you're just so hot. Like, it's like, yeah, that's just, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, my feelings aren't hurt and I'm disappointed. Okay, <laughs> I was really I hoping to get like devastated. If we were to criticize the question, an interesting, another interesting angle on this would be is who, who, would, who do I think out of my friends Becca would have sex with? Oh, that is actually good. You know, so like, who do you think I was going to say? I don't know. I didn't mm. really, I honestly did not. That is I good. I didn't know. Did you think I was going to say someone of? 
What do you mean? I want all the broads did you- to think about that question. <laughs> Dude, who did, who did, do you think your partner? Out of all your friends, who do you think your partner? I want wants you all to getting divorced tonight. <laughs> this is the That's quarantine. That's a great quote. I call this That's the a, quarantine challenge. Any t- anytime, <laughs> while you have time to yourself, which plenty of you do, I want you to really think about this. Well, while you're your cooped friends, up with your partner, which one of your friends is your partner most likely to cheat on you? With? If you're looking to just. Fuck your entire time alone with your partner for the next three months. Try this. <laughs> the quarantine <Yeah>. challenge. <laughs> if you're, next time you and your partner say goodnight to each other, start this conversation. If you don't want to sleep for three days. <laughs> See, that's the real shit, though. Fuck those TikTok challenges, the push up challenges. Bored, this is a challenge, okay? Yeah, <laughs> like, for real. This, if will you're cha- bored, this will push your relationship here's pe- to here's its some limits. salt and pepper for your relationship right here. <laughs> all right ev okay your turn um, I, I i feel like i know what you're gonna say but well i hate this because then if you if i say something different then it's like a bomb no no all right i have beautiful friends i think, friends. I think you know well, first, just first of all sobbing. first of all <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh i thought that it was gonna be we literally <laughs> have it and i have no reaction to what these two answered i say bibby becca goes she's not my friend <laughs> <laughs> So I haven't let you hear yours. Um, Top of Justice I, I mean, list. Go. Like you have pretty friends. I have very pretty friends. So I would friends. say that like it's it goes without question that like your friends Way to have your friends back. They're all pretty girls that like without knowing you, I would be like, Oh <laughs> I like how he's lawyering this. No, I'm just saying, like, oh, I'll you know have what I'm an saying? orgy with all these women. <laughs> I'm just Let's go. No, what I, I can't you know choose one is my point. <laughs> but I would say that like Katie is Definitely like wifey material in that. I knew guy. it was going to be Katie. I knew it was going to be Katie. No, so I'm not I mean, devastated. Just, yeah, I mean, it's like you, you would, said it to me. She said, she said, if I die, marry Katie. I've, I've left this my Katie. I've left my goodwill to him. I said, if I die, I would prefer you to marry Katie. I love that. Yeah, for real. Because she's beautiful. I if would marry you die, her. I want you to be <laughs> miserable and wifeless. I hope the rest you die she's right like, after. She's like, if I die, marry Alec. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a domestic <laughs> partnership with Alec. <laughs> no, I mean that's what I knew you were gonna say, yeah. Katie. Yeah, it's like again, that's like a not. It's like it's like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I I knew it. Whatever. Okay, next next awkward question. Next, awkward question. I love these. Good. This is so fun. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hold on. Oh, some of these aren't as awkward. Um. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. I will oh give gosh, real quick, this one's so uncomfortable. Props, props to Evan for answering with the approved name because Katie was the I know. approved and choice. And the thing is, Katie sometimes listens that. to this podcast, which will be dope. You circumvented, but it's she sometimes listens. Yeah, but it's fine because I think because Katie knows. It's kind of one of those things where it's not like it's not weird. <laughs> it's unspoken, but, it's like a, but every time we hang, the sexual tension wait, between Katie all three knows. of us is fit. Because <laughs> I'm attracted that. to Katie every too. Time, every time Katie walks in your house, she just knows that's she, what's going to happen. Could, she she could be walking right ride. into like, a trap. <laughs> we've tried to set Katie up with my with Evan's brother, who looks just like Evan. She thinks he's gorgeous, so it's kind of like okay, we all know we all find each other attractive. Are we going to do this or not? <laughs> that's the question. Hey, have you guys ever played matchmaker for a friend? And have it work? <sighs> oh, real quick, Devastator. Real quick, 10 second story. Me and Jess play matchmaker for one of our close friends. Guy goes, I'm in love with this person. Um, well, this is not quite matchmaker, but it's like a version of matchmaker. He's like, I've been in love with this girl for 10 years. I've never really stood up and had the balls to say anything. Blah, 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 blah. We go, we convince him drunkenly to like text her, pour his heart out. She straight up disses him. It's just like, no, nah, I don't look at you that way. We were all drunk we by the fire so, and we were like, we cracked we this were text. Convinced. We're like, if you just come at her with just like the pure heart, you're an attractive guy. She's an attractive girl. This will work. She's single. You're single. Like if you just come at her and blow her socks off with just this romantic text and say, hey, I've known you for 10 years. Boom. I mean, he's just putting it all on the line and she literally like texts him like two days later. Yeah, and we were all like together a, all night bro, waiting for the text, staring at the phone. And <laughs> I mean, we were drunk Bro, and that's so you, convinced. You literally took the boom box outside 100%. of the window oh, moment completely. and watered it down to a text message. It was perfect. And it was she a straight perfect up text. just looked at him and just like, nah. Oh, it was it so was brutal. brutal. 
but no i we it's literally uh it's hard it's like comparing the integrity like a breakup integrity to be like did they break up via like text message or in person I don't. Yeah, but if you're not into them, you're not into them. I always. Yeah. You gotta it's, have it's a. Con- worse in person. You gotta have a ten year confession of love be in person, face to. But it was like she's a. You know, she works a and lot. They live it far was away from each other. It they made sense. On, not the it same made state. sense. It, oh, yeah. We thought the way that it was built up that Dude, it was going to work. Like, this is you so know when you believe sad. in something so true. No, I was like I was like running around the backyard. I was like, we are crazy. Oh, you guys forever. were literally convinced like this. Oh there's yeah, no way this wasn't going to work. No, it was devastating. <laughs> How drunk were you guys? Very intoxicated. Solid, but like at the same time, <laughs> it was more like we looked at him, we looked at her, we saw that we were like, okay, this isn't like some. This isn't like our dude is like. A, a, a frump and he's like hitting up some fire. like a super famous model it was like very appropriate like they had known each other for years they had had a t- no shade he to said her, they though. had tension this whole thing it was like here we go and just straight up she's just like no and it was just like <laughs> oh, oh it was brutal my god but i don't like to set up friends because i feel like every time i have one of them is somehow offended i just feel like it's like not often either they're offended because they don't feel like that person stacks up physically to them or they're offended because they don't think that that person stacks up personality wise to them or something it's hard because you don't want to make anybody feel awkward either yeah. like they're, i have like, a friend i want to set up so bad but you haven't done it no and he's like a new friend <clears throat> the oh you want to say him up with zoe right yeah not bad though that no one's gonna be offended with that one i don't know you never know that's the thing that's tough like i said we tried All to right, set up broads, katie send in your <laughs> send in your stories playing matchmaker like, dm dm me at i like grace called arms <laughs> just like ladies <laughs> gentlemen i'm trying to boost my engagement dude <laughs> every question comment broads. on my most recent photo like and subscribe COVID, dude, to I've my got, new channel it's COVID. I've got like 29,000 followers of Becca's fans. I'm trying to do let's, something Let's boost it. this. <laughs> I've like ultimately become silent on Instagram because everyone who follows me, I don't know. <laughs> You're just, we're Real. just, let's make it. And they're, and, not even there, so, and they're not even there I'm for more him. Self-conscious, the I'm more self-conscious than ever. Half the comment, 75% of the comments on my posts are, <laughs> I love you, Becca. <laughs> right. You, you, you post a picture of you climbing a wall. They're like, I love the last episode. It's a photo of my family. Bras, it's a photo of my that. family. And it's, yeah, it's, it's always just like, oh, you're the best. You're so enriching. <laughs> enriching. <laughs> enriching. So uh, talking about what's, the, what's the question? All right. This, it's, an, it's a very uncomfy one. Jeez. It's even, I think, like, I think it's even more uncomfy than the last one. Okay. You just be a hype queen. What? Do you have that what if person? The what? The what if person, like that person that you think about that you're a little bit like. What if we didn't get together and I? The great white there? buffalo. Yep. Almost like, have you ever been friend zoned? That's sure. Exactly. That's exactly. It's what kind that is. of like that. Sure. And yes, is the answer. Okay. Do you have a specific one? I do indeed. What age were you? What was the time? Middle school. <laughs> wow. Are you serious? Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, but you know, the majority. Like, well, this is. Majority of the friends that I hang out with, I've actually known since I was in middle oh, yeah. school or, or elementary school. So this is Just someone you like, still I've, know? Oh, yeah. Someone I'm still very much in contact with. We've actually talked about it. <laughs> I love this. This is incredible. We actually get coffee once a week to talk <laughs> about it. She's my surfing buddy. She's <laughs> just the one who I've been surfing. I meet her down we the hang beach. out four times. That's we why hang out four I always surf so much. No, oh, I'm no, quarantining no, no. with her as well. Like She's in my circle. <laughs> it's not like an extensive talk by any means. Oh my uh, god. No, but it's been addressed of the like the drunken admission of like I had a massive crush on you through like middle school and high school. Wow. Okay. <sighs> yeah, there's definitely been that. Becca's dying. I feel to like know who most is. people. I feel like I'm in a unique <laughs> position by the fact that I still have like I'm 30 and I'm still. All of my best friends have been my best friends since I was either in third grade or like. Well, from here on out, they all better like be between, male. I'm it's saying like between that like much. third and seventh grade are all the same best friends I have for the most part. Yeah, but it's one of your people who are still one of your close friends. How is that not? I mean, I feel like that's definitely someone who would make up a best friend to be like, we you like grew up together. 
Yeah, you know? grew up together. I will say though, there's not <laughs> drunken admissions of love. No, now reason, now reason and logic and adulthood and responsibility get in the way. <laughs> I'm too and tired. The only time that the only time that we can be honest is when we're cold and so cold and cold in the water with our wet suits. I can't be honest. Full of piss. I can't be honest unless I'm intoxicated. Let's be real. I freshly pissed in my wetsuit, <laughs> and I'm just asking you the question. That's what being thirty is. That's admitting. That's the truth. You're just admitting looking, that alcohol okay. makes you honest. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I, I I wish I had some juicy juice. Okay, I, the only what if I have it is, needs to. You have to give the me. only what if I have is my third grade crush. Oh my god, this this him and his third grade crush. Is he being serious? So, yeah, I swear no, to God, I hear about this so person fair. all the time. So here here's what happened. This girl. He's being serious. Being yes. Dead serious. <laughs> So hundred percent. It gets me the, so mad because I'm if, just like, give me the recent. Sh- and he's saying junior high. But the what if? The Third what grade. if is dead. Like in regards to like, it's not a real what if because. So the what if was in third grade. I'll, because life took us in two different listen, paths. Destiny sh- was never on our side. <laughs> it's true. I saw the third future. Grade. No, I was in love with her. Third grade, and I always thought she didn't like me because she like would be like, I don't like. You know, she was just playing third grade shit. And then They're found right. out yeah, eight year olds. Yeah, a couple of years later, found out that she really liked me. Okay. In fifth grade. In like fifth grade. And Stop. I remember like a guttural, a guttural, you know, re- reaction of like, whoa, like I really, it was like powerful to me to think that she liked me when I liked her and this whole thing that I missed it and whatever. Now, later on, I ran into her and, you know, she does a lot of uh, heavy drugs and uh, does math and shit like that. So it didn't work out. So it's not like I ran into her later on in life and I was like, wow. But it was definitely like this, like we the- ran into her. Let's make that clear is that I had heard about this girl for years, like the love of his life that he would always bring up this girl. <laughs> and then we ran into her and it was it's but it was crazy because like I remember running into her like. Yeah, early 20s or something, and I hadn't seen her since like grade school. And she was like, yeah, I liked you. And it was just like. Oh, and I was like, oh, I'm gosh. standing right here. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't, but you know, I was like, she did. But no, but I, I will say that that's I obviously away. A, I give them a moment together. That's obviously she like a, like a very like specific third grade, hilarious, yeah. whatever. But I don't have any like, I don't have, I, I wish I did. I wish I did. I, I don't have any like when I think of all the friends and growing up. I, I feel like when you were in England, person. there were maybe a few. People. No, I'll say, I'll, use I'll say this. I over romanticize. Hold on. We're in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> Chris now slipping his body. I don't know what. <laughs> He's doing the limbo underneath the mic. No, what I was gonna say was, Hurry, is get it I. Out. No, I just have a tendency to over romanticize my exes a lot. Oh. So I always think what if about my exes, and in fact, it's something that comes out during pregnancy. I dream about my exes almost constantly. Like oh, it happened yeah. with both. And the first time around, it fucked with my head because we weren't in a very good relationship place either. But but then now that we're happy and I'm still and having it's still dreams happening. about my exes. Yeah, I'm like, this is like a weird pregnancy hormone thing. What a I all have deal. dreams all the time. It's, it's actually really fucks with my head whenever I wake up from one of them because it's always like, Turns out it was actually my ex's baby and like he wants to get with me and like and he's going to be the parent and like in the dream I'm all psyched about it like it's and then I wake up and I'm like oh my god and I feel all guilty it's like it it actually is like a really it's a fucking head trip yeah that when I get them and I got it last pregnancy too. I remember when you had it last pregnancy and it was like oh this and then when I'm not pregnant it's completely disappears and I like don't even think twice about well but yeah, I'd have a tendency to over romanticize it for sure. So I'm always like, oh my God, like if something was to happen, we would break up. I would get back with any of my exes. <laughs> and then I know, like for real. Yeah, of course. And then I know that if I was to get back with any of them, I'd probably be like, oh yeah, this, this, and this is why we stopped being together. But I always only think about the good times. Sure. Like I literally, I literally had a dream about one of my exes last night. <laughs> That he came up, and funny enough, Grayson, I was like, Gray, I think I had a dream I was almost cheating on you with my ex. And he's like, that's funny. I had like the same ex- <laughs> He had all. He's like, I also was about to have sex with my ex in my dream. Really? But yeah, actually, which was weird. But in my Hot. dream, like my ex came up behind me, <laughs> like when we were dancing and it was all romantic. And in my dream, I was like, oh my gosh, we could both have like 
matching French. I don't know why in my dream I was like, we could have matching French braided hair. And then I woke <laughs> up and I was like, and I was like, in and I woke up I was like, Grant, I could have matching French braided hair too. What? This is so weird. But my dream was just like so romantic. I was like, he and I were just like like each other, you know. I'm it's looking so at the would you so rather's. And okay, I yeah, found, would you rather? Did you find a good one? Um. <laughs> Would you... Okay, this doesn't really make sense to me. Oh, I have a fun one quick before you do that, B. What yeah. about three oh. adjectives that describe you in bed? Three adjectives that describe myself uh -huh, in bed? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Generous, Great, powerful. Start. I really want Gray to start. Three adjectives that describe you in bed. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are you saying we describe ourselves or we yes. describe our no, partner? No, you have ourselves. to describe yourself. That's uncomfy. In three... <laughs> <laughs> That's, this my is number one, one my number one adjective is lays there <laughs> number two quick, doesn't move lazy quick consistent and quiet <laughs> <laughs> that was so, so accurate and quick that was so accurate he's just like thank you <laughs> Quick, consistent, and quiet. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Have a good night. <laughs> so you and was that good for you? I always. <laughs> I like those adjectives too because they're actually not cringy, but they're also like sort of actual descriptors. Sure. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to think of that. Do you have any that come to mind? Quick. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'll go. Extreme. <laughs> no, no, no. Big, let me let me give us a definition of that. It's one way or another, bitch. Either I'm laying there like a dead fish, or I'm getting tied up and I'm swinging from the chandelier. I'm an extreme lover. It goes okay, one okay. way or so another. Oh, so you're like polar. I don't mean like I'm in like fourth gear. Just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, I'd be like, okay, you're saying like you're saying polar, polarizing. Sure, sure. Okay, but but it was one of two. I get, I get what you're saying. <laughs> God, extreme was the most radical word. How do I like having view. sex? Skydiving I wanna on top of a on speeding the, I wanna car. I want to die and be brought <laughs> back. <laughs> Being threatened by guns, terrorists outside our house. <laughs> I like to full gimp soup zipped up. <laughs> I want to see the shit. other side. Okay, so extreme. I get that. Okay, extreme. Okay. I'll say. I'll say. I'll say. Um. Uh. I don't know what the word is. Quirky. But I like specific. I'll say specific. I like specific things. Okay. I'm specific. I like, I, but it's not I just like, I only like missionary. It's like, no, I want, when we've talked about, I want his balls on my eyes. <laughs> I want, that's what I'd like. Okay. But it's a specific, I want to get <laughs> tied like, up. Not no, here. We've, just here. we've, we've what talked is the term? about is it, this before, Jess. Would it be called Jess, raccooning? <laughs> <laughs> what would you call the term? They called it teabagging, but she didn't. Understand I think it should be like meant. a cucumbering, like when you get like a I spa and there's cucumbers on your eyes. Spa treatment, the spa treatment, the spa treatment. It's how I stay young. We've talked about this. I know what you mean, though, because because it's like, well, I like it when I'm laying kind of like this, and then he's doing this yes. while t doing this, like a very thi like a thing. right love I love when he doesn't mean. move. We've we've talked. Yeah, about Yeah, love this, when yeah. it's in there. There's no movement, and then but also then there like a specific. There's specific things I like. Um, and then I, you know, I'll give myself see the not movie. I'll give myself quick too. I'll do. I'll give myself quick too. Okay. Do you prefer quick sex to long sex? Me? Oh, every day. Yeah, every day, quick over long, please. Like, if you and I have all day together, sure. Let's roll around in bed, turn a show on. You know, make out foreplay, I'm for and but like I like long, long foreplay is fun, but like actual like penetration, I would. I was gonna say it's got to be the moderate amount. Like I, I, I probably don't want to do more than fifteen minutes of actual, uh, any kind of actual sexual. Yes, like going down act. on penetration, but like making out, rolling around is fun. Maybe a little bit of like hands around, but like I prefer. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I could just make out for like hours. Mm -hmm. Not actual hours, but 
like 45 minutes yeah if you have the, if you have the time i'm i'm all about it that's also a funny but thing. even then like when you're 16 you could make out for three hours like, oh it was like the best hours. we would it, best. it would be like i would go over to someone's house at seven and then i i would have to be home by 10 30 and we'd and still be, be like, making out be hard as a rock for like and you seven just hours grind in your jeans for hours you're all raw. I'd be all raw because yeah. I'm just, just like, like denim on good. denim. And like you're legit. just like, it feels horrible. Everyone's actually. <laughs> dry humping had a legit chance of finishing. Oh, yeah. Lo- those were the days. The dry hump days where you had, a- there was a potential. That was always just painful. I, I It was like a love-hate relationship with dry humping where I'm like, this is satisfying what I need, but not satisfying anything. And it hurts. I liked dry humping so anything at a certain point in my life. It was the denim that really um, <laughs> the jeans. It was the Denim's jeans very unforgiving. <laughs> All right, Evan, three words. Were mine accurate though? Uh, yes, I would say. Okay, I would say they were accurate. All right. Um, those are those are pretty. That was pretty. No, good it felt out. yeah, it felt real. It felt real. <laughs> um. Okay. Welcome to my bedroom. I would say we were with you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm kind of struggling with a third. I would say attentive. Very attentive. <laughs> Points. Very attentive. I would say... To a fault sometimes. No, 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 I'm getting to that. I know. See, what's hard about this is that there's so many contradictions with some of these words. Selfless. And that's what I'm having a hard time with. Because it's like, I was going to say lazy as one of my words, but then I'm like, no, there's definitely times where I'm not fucking right, lazy. Right, right, right. At all. So I'm having trouble with the dichotomy of sexuality. No, it's hard. Of like, it's hard. You know? Okay. It's like, I'm. I, one word is always going to contradict another yeah, one right, that right, I right. sort of describe myself Especially because you think of the other time you weren't that way. And you're like, well, okay. Right. So far, so far you're attentive okay. and possibly selfless. Okay, I'm attentive. <laughs> Sacrificial. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Savior. I'm Jesus Christ in the sack. I'm I'm attentive. I'm passionate. I am needy. That's funny. I was gonna use that as one of mine as well. Not needy in that like I need you to please me. But like I would say my biggest downfall, and this is the downfall of the married man. My biggest problem is that meaningless, like just kind of knock it and done, I'm not good at. See, like, the fact he even like, calls it meaningless. You know what I'm saying? Like, like just knock it out and call it a day. I This is what I get fed up. Uh, I have up a lot of a hard time with. Like I almost would I, rather like I'm like if we're gonna do it, let's like do it together, or I guess I'll just like beat off or something like that. Because it's like if I don't need your body as like a quality over quantity exactly, kind of thing. Exactly. Like I'm a I, little bit. I, I, I think get, that's where the neediness comes into play. I get. I was it's so funny because I was gonna actually use needy as maybe this is an Aquarius Libra. Thing. Yeah, I was gonna. I was say, gonna use. Yeah. I was going to use needy as one of my words because I feel like that's what I get hung up on is I'm like, I want to connect. I want to feel close to you. Otherwise, there's no point if I don't feel close to you. Okay, let me say needy slash organic. It's so funny because I was saying right? to... And the organic I was like sort of I was sort of yeah, arguing yeah. with Gray in the car the other day because I was like, do you know, do you ever just... Did you ever have that person that you just like really like... Every time you had sex, you just like connected, and he was just like, "And no, I don't really know what right, you mean." Right, right, I'm mean, right. like, every time it was just like a, a, a like an emotional spiritual. Connection. I think maybe every time. maybe it is an Aquarius Libra thing because you two are like, and I'm I'm way more like Gray. I'm very much like I feel deep emotional connection from like intimate conversations, but sex to me is a little bit just different. It's like I love having sex, and I definitely when I have sex with someone that I am emotionally connected with. It's amazing. But I also don't look at sex like yeah, connected like, in, in that and way. I think, like you could have just as equally as satisfying of a, a hookup with someone like my that you didn't favorite, know. My favorite is the least expectant. Like when we last expect to have sex, that's uh-huh. my favorite time to have okay. sex. Okay. Well, I kind of do yeah, get, I that get that too. It's very spontaneous. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so my words, I am going to actually borrow needy as one of them because I was already thinking of that. I was going to say needy, uh, but then I was going to say lazy and then I didn't think that was true. (laughs) 
<laughs> what about I just know. what about just like um oh of course just like I uh know. i don't know <laughs> just think about sex think about the last five times you guys have had sex and and categorize in your brain like where you feel you sit in it uh <laughs> or a lie. I don't. Or just I like a real word. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. I was gonna say like fluid, but then it sounds like I'm talking about sexuality. You're flexible. It's I was fine, gonna say like, flexible. It's flexible. Like emotionally flexible. Waiting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Needy, flexible, and um, uh, I would even say unpredictable, but I don't think that's true. <laughs> and I think <laughs> probably pretty predictable. Um, maybe predictable, actually. Actually, that's kind of a good one. I'll say needy, flexible, and, but predictable. predictable. meaning like you have your moves. Like you like. She's predictably, she's predictably needy, but she's flexible within her needs. <laughs> okay. But then when you say predictable, does that mean like when you guys have, like when you're having sex, I you typically like you go one, two, three, four, bang. Like it's one of those like, like, or you have your no. routine. I think I'm like predictably me. I don't know how else to describe it. Like predictable about something I'm going to get upset about. Like or Gray, like predictable is it easy about for you to I'm know like. when you're going to get with her? When you're when you're going to get with me? Yeah, like no. Okay, okay, that's that's. I'm curious. Okay, that's what I was asking. Like, is it one of those things it's where it's not like predictable? Is it easy for him so maybe you to are figure out how to? It get is and with it isn't. It is and it isn't. Cool. So without like, divulging too much into specifics, of course, of course. it is. It is predictable and it is wildly unpredictable all at the same time. Like sometimes you think it's really going to work and then it doesn't. Sometimes you'll just impose these arbitrary standards. What is that? Like the context and the place in which we had sex yesterday is no longer acceptable. Oh, uh, okay. I see. Yeah, you're going I back that. to the place. You're like, let's go back out to the they shed. Shift. Like, in the dirt, I, need, but I thought that I was your thing. This is not. This is not enough for me. And it's like it was yesterday. It's like well, not. No, but today. you're like I today should. I need, but like Becca, you were in a I moment, need, and it felt. Today, actually, I need you to step it up, and you need to operate on this level. You need to put. You need to put forth maximum effort, and actually, then I'm usually like, that's not happening. Maybe shifting is. And like then, a then there's word a comp- than there, then there's a conversation of compromise. Maybe rearranging the like time. Like maybe not now, but maybe in like two hours. And it's like I can't guarantee you anything in two hours. <laughs> and it becomes a little more of like married sex where you're like well that kind of bugs me because then i'm like well let's just wait because like right now i don't want to i'm like literally doing this right now and you're gonna throw me off track and then grace like well i guess i'm gonna have to go jack off and i'm like no just wait uh. that's called and that right there is called a power move <laughs> Get it while you can, See, our lady. I don't, know if I've, I don't know if we've talked about it on the podcast. We've talked about it on our personal relationships a lot. Me and Becca operate on the power pyramid. Okay. And there's only Fine. one room. There's only room for one person at the top of the power pyramid, and it's a shifting position. And you always have to maintain power in the relationship. And one of those moves can be, if you don't have sex with me on my terms right now, absolutely, I'm going to go masturbate, and we're not having sex. So, okay, here's a question. Another another kind of power move is... Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Which is except which is like a reversal power fun. move. Yeah, except Grayson's then like, okay, I'm gonna go masturbate. I'm gonna enjoy it, and then cool. uh, I'll come back and help you outside with the cool. Yard. So he jacks off. You go, yeah, go jack off. I don't give a shit. And well, then you no, come back to the yard. Meet now you what? outside in thirty. But then I'm seconds. usually. But this is <laughs> what ha- <laughs> this is what happens. I'm usually like <laughs> kind of pissed though. Because then I'm like, well, then maybe you won't want to have sex later when I want to have sex because you already jacked off. Yeah. So then I'm kind of pissed. He's like, amen. So then, th- and then it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then what's low key, low key, ultimate power move is guys is to get it up later. Because Becca's like, what if you go and masturbate and then you're not going to, we're not going to have sex later because you don't want to. What a secret. I thought this was going to be interesting. <laughs> No, the the <laughs> simpler the the simple plan. No, what Wait. actually happens though a lot of times is then Grayson will be like, "Well, then I'm gonna go watch porn and jack off," and I'll be like, "Well, that's kind of hot," and then I'll think about that, and then I'll be like, 
Yeah. See, hey, well, we now see, now that really that's a di- that's some divulging because that's the truth of the matter. When I find out that Evan is like, yeah, I was I was like, you know, I was like jerking it off earlier watching porn. I'm a little bit like get a little turned I know, on. You're a little like, really? I know. Yeah. That's what I do. I'm like, I'm like, well, I'm what were like, you watching? Ugh. I know. Like, so yeah. <laughs> so For give real? me details. Yeah. Yes. I love the thought of like, yes, I, I love that thought of him. I, I always ask her, I'd be like, where, when, like, when was that? But for me, like, was that when you went to the bathroom? But for like, me, it has to be watching oh. pornography. It can't be like, yeah, oh, I was I looking at someone's photos and it's just like, hold on a second. Well, like, Becca, well, Becca if he loves was the thought me, of me diddling myself. Yeah. <laughs> if he was telling me, so well, creepy. well, if he wasn't watching porn, but he was like, <laughs> no, but one time he was like, oh, but I was thinking of this that we did last night. And then I was like, obviously, that's oh, hot. that's super hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying. He's a liar, though. but yeah, that's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, babe, I was looking at our fucking uh, wedding photo and I just. I was, like, I was just watching our wedding photo. I was checking off of me and you climbing in Yosemite. And honestly, that's all I needed. <laughs> Such what a liar, answers. dude. Unreal. And look at she just no, fell this, for it. She's like, and it's so we did. We were, so no, well, the sex we were having. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just We've kidding. had some very hot moments that oh, when we start texting, I remind you oh, of yeah, them. And then it definitely. starts getting it. You know what? The fun. What? See, so I'm glad you agree with me, though. I think it's hot to it's think about. Hot. It's like, yeah, it's a big turn on. And I, it's I like, I had no idea. I thought that was kind yeah. of like a. And it's, I guess, total stereotype thing, but I just like a guy. Yeah, thing. like I just we're so simple. No, I like I like watching videos. If I'm watching porn, I will literally just watch videos of guys jerking off. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, it's 100%. hot to watch. You will watch sure. that? Yeah, I like watching girls fingering this themselves is, I get, or using a dildo. And I like guys jerking off. OK, it's just is it just pleasure? Well, what I like is that, yeah, if it is if it is solo, especially if it's like amateur, like at home stuff, then I feel like I really know the person likes it. And that's a hard time. Right. That's a thing that I yeah. that's a hard time I have with porn is feeling like they're it's too produced, like they're acting. So when someone's like at home in their bathroom, sneaking around, having to be all quiet, then that's hey. super hot because they're loving it. Obviously, yeah. Do you guys have yes. access to any porn stars. Could you interview porn stars on your show? A lot of people want. Yeah, us they, to, I think. they'd love a porn star. People would also like us to like interview a sex worker, sex worker. which I would love to. I just I just don't know how that would necessarily look like, you know, um, if like if they're comfortable, you know, revealing themselves or whatever. Depending what kind on what of sex, sex worker? worker? Like an illegal sex worker well, or maybe, someone who does like bondage. We could do. We, I mean, we could do anything. We could do like a professional dom. We could do a cam girl. Like, there's plenty of people who are fine with having their identity. That's identities true. That's now. true. I'd be interested to know what people are most interested in. in Strippers. Like, what broads? Why don't you slide working. into Grayson's latest photo and say what? Yeah. Do you want the broads to interview? Do you want the broads to comment on Gray's re- most recent star? <laughs> Or do you want a professional dom, or do you want someone working late nights on the street? Can you yeah, on, on Grayson's latest? What photo. kind of sex worker? Well, and of are course, we there's other about? countries where it's legal too, right? Like yeah. if you live in Amsterdam, you could just be a legal. Get on an too. overseas Skype, and we'll talk about it. I mean, we and the world is our oyster right now. We can interview That's anyone. That's true, anywhere. huh? Everyone's available. We have the opportunity now. Available. Yeah, our sex workers not. How do you get in cam? You'd have to like. I actually saw an article about a cam girl who was like, "I can't masturbate How do 24 guys- hours a day." My well, job is this really is the thing that's right really now. fucked up is like, uh, so many people are now taking jobs away from people like cam girls because of joining OnlyFans. So you have all these people who are famous who have already made tons of money who are now starting OnlyFans account and just like just. Pulling in, but tons I feel like of people shit. like cam. I feel like people like cam girls for different reasons. Like for, from what I've just read, at one point, actually, there's some. Do you know there's some cam Have girls you guys that don't an- do that don't masturbate, like that don't actually do sexual acts. Yes. And a lot of people with cam girls, a lot of men want like to feel like they're in a relationship with the cam girl. Yeah. Have you guys? Because had- they can get like more personal attention. I don't know. I feel like. I guess it's Why just, I guess it's just do only fans. Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that they can't. I'm saying like, it's almost like 
since all the quarantine shit started, it was like for however many years, so many people would like talk shit about sex work. Oh. And now all of a sudden everyone is hurting everyone for finance and everyone's getting an OnlyFans account. And it's these people who already have tons of money. And it's like, yo, you're taking this shit away from people who like, this is like their, this is how they make their money. Like this Jimmy is their, Kimmel this is their professional podcast. job. You, and now all of a sudden you want to do it. And now you think it's like all well and good. And you're like, I don't know. But well, have you ending- guys had the OnlyFans conversation? Have have Evan and I? Have they actually considered it? Yeah. I mean, I've tried, but Evan's About not like down. starting one. <laughs> yeah. Evan, new revenue streams, new projects, <laughs> new editing. Listen, I'm a producer. I. <laughs> I mean, are you serious? Like, like a serious thing? I think that Jess Wait, would yeah. be more into it than I would be. So, just, if I'm being very candid. What we if- talked about it. Yeah. We, we didn't if you're interested, seri- if you're interested, we definitely DM did me. Not, we did not seriously I'm trying to get a gauge. I'm trying to get a gauge. How many people are we? What talking I'm trying about? to do what is I'm trying to start expect? a network. I want to understand. Okay, this like, is yeah, this I is mean, like an. I have a legit question. If I can put a pitch deck to Becca together, saying we're I have a legit at question. Two thousand fans monthly. I actually want to show you this. Did you ever download? I think we're supposed to do ads for them, but it never actually happened. Did you ever download Dipsy the app? Yes, and I would love. Deep- and I would love to do it. Because I'm one, okay, so it's like an it's it's an audio app. It's like a sex audio mm-hmm. app. Oh. It's really interesting. It's like an immersive audio experience, and it's like ASMR almost type like stuff? you know you know like no, it's like how have you ever listened to audiobook plays? You know what I'm talking about, where they have like they clinking in the background, on, on, like but it's what like is it that. Called? But What's it's the sound effect one called what? What the sound effect one where it's like. That's ASMR. ASMR. Sexy noises. No, no, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. It's like a small play. Yes. It's like a small porno, but just audio only. But it'll be like, cling, cling, like walking into a diner. Uh, and they'll be like, hey, babe, like, good to see you. Like, how is it work today? And you can hear them like washing dishes. And they'll be like, what if I touch you here? And then you'll hear like, it's it's like a whole audio immersive yeah. experience. Like an audio book phone sex. It's pretty. Yeah, but it's like a play. It's like you. Yeah, you hear every, it's it's really cool i would be but super anyway. down to do that i would love but anyway to i'm wondering if you guys would do an only fans <laughs> to read erotic dialogue back and forth to each other and do like kissing sounds and stuff like that would you ever do that like oh, actually yeah, yeah. totally yeah sure. there's nothing like this i bet weird. you guys i bet people would love that if we did a <laughs> if you guys did an audio erotic experience and did one a week you could make this could be a huge revenue stream, and you do audio, Evan. You could be inserting little things in the back. It could be a whole project, Oink. <laughs> and do like a ten-part series. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. I would be down to do it. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah, I bet some broad. I bet you could pay find a broad who would write erotic scripts for you guys, and then you guys would have to act them out. Yes, that would and read them back and forth to each that other. Would be, I, I would really need someone friend. who would need like yeah, write that's, a script that's, for that's me. That would work. be the part. I, that's the work. One of my one of my best friends and old roommates is. I bet um, someone would make fiancés. We used to used to like she was very big in the erotic Harry Potter. The fanfic, oh, and she yes. wrote she she wrote a lot of Harry Potter erotic fan fiction. I would be so yeah. down. I would be so down for. Oh my god, that would be great. People could send in the different fanfic dialogues they want you to do. That There's the week. thing though. Becca has did like two fanfics for us at the very beginning of the Chatty Bras Bachelor fanfic, Bachelor fanfics, and you were good at it. I they find that so, so arousing for some reason to think of like a girl just sitting alone in her room writing a bunch of fantasy. Oh, babe, I can do fiction, this. Is my like other Lord of the Rings, Honestly, Becca's some Bachelor Lord of the Rings fanfic, fan fiction. it was funny, but it was also hot. So you're kind of like, damn, I don't know. <laughs> which she I would, like. Becca would be in like the Star Wars expanded universe like fan oh. fiction. Oh, dude, Han and Leia. Jess would love Han it. Han and Leia, Jessie. you know I am in every day. <laughs> Hey, Broad, sorry, quick interruption. Um, We became so passionate and unhinged at this point that we didn't realize that some of the mics got unplugged. And so the remainder of what you will hear is some Zoom audio and Zoom video. So our apologies. But, you know, when you get passionate, sometimes you just don't notice. All right, back to it. Okay, guys, we got to wrap this. We got to wrap it. I have just one final very quick would you rather. I just want everyone to go around and answer real quick like um 
Mm -hmm. Would you rather sleep with Meredith or Phyllis from The Office? <sighs> I'm I'm going Phyllis. I think think Phyllis is a generous lover. I think she's a generous lover Pull too. Up the image of Phyllis. I feel like she's she's a lover who, after we're done making love, I could fall asleep on her breast and she would like caress me and like tell me how special I am. I mean, don't her and her husband. Wow, have these are both pretty, sleepers. They have a pretty spicy sex life, her and her husband, right? Yeah, Bob Vance. Oh, Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Mm. Meredith's kind of scary. No, yeah. F um, Phyllis looks like more of a giver. Meredith looks like someone who's, there's a negotiation going on. That seems really accurate. Yeah. Like, like Phyllis Me Meredith... Meredith will hold this over your head for the rest of your life. Like, Ph like Phyllis will be doing like for some reason. Like, she'll just be nice perpetually. Post, she'll knit you things. That's true. She'll like wink at you. Yeah. Meredith will like eventually. T it'll turn into a legal matter. Well, because she'll strangle. birth your child <laughs> without you knowing, and they come back five years later. It wouldn't even be yours. She would just claim that it That's was yours. True. Exactly. You five years later, she's now pregnant and she's due in six months and it's your kid. She also has rabies in a certain episode, so Lord knows what that <laughs> She has like. what in an episode? She has rabies? She gets rabies. She, she gets hit by a car by Michael. Can and rabies be sexually no, doesn't she actually, the, the bat, she the puts bat. the bat oh, gets shit. stuck on but with she the trash also, bag. Is that not the same no, episode? She also gets hit by the car. She also then gets but hit the by the car. It's the same episode. If rabies she gets is the rabies saliva, from the bat. Rabies but doesn't saliva, she find right? out she had rabies because she went to the hospital because she gets hit by the car by Michael? Yes. That's exactly oh, what it yeah. is. And then he's trying to cover up for the fact that he hit her and with the car by does, doing the rabies awareness run. And he eats uh, fettuccine Alfredo before the run and then pukes yes. his brains out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and his nipples chafe. <laughs> Fun uh, run. It's Andy. episode fun run, yeah, by the way. Yeah. And he's like, it has carbo load. Um, <laughs> That's such a stupid show. <laughs> Phyllis, 100%, because I think uh, like at first I go Meredith, just out of straight, like, yeah, she's you know, type. Um, but Meredith is your type? Redhead. Uh, I used to be a redhead. But I would say that. Shut up. For many years. Oh, yeah. Many so years. all those high school stories earlier, you were redhead? No, I was blonde. Okay, I was just saying, I was picturing like Newport blonde. Blonde. Very Highlights. blonde. Newport platinum. Dana Point blonde. Mm-hmm. Surfer that? girl that's who's the, never that's what you ask gone at surf. The, that's what you ask the hairstylist. I want that, I want that uh, mm -hmm. Dana Point blonde, With the baby. the platinum on top, black underneath. Oh, oh I did shit. that. That was yeah. what that and was what all the softball moms had at my school. Mandy Moore in the recently played section of your of your iTunes. Oh, of course. Damn, Legend. Mandy Legend Moore the game. slaps, wow. slaps. What was a Mandy Moore hit? All I can think of right now is Walk to Remember. Out of all yeah, those, out of all those pop stars, like I think Christina she did a Aguilera, cover of Candy, Britney Spears. Mandy Moore was my standout crush. Well, people say I look like her in what's it called? A Walk to Remember? No, in that new show. A Walk to Remember was the movie oh, she was yeah. in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's that show? I never saw oh, the movie. Um, this, is, this is Us. Oh! This is Us. Yeah, This is Us. And that's the one that everyone said I looked like her husband. Yeah, actually. When my mustache yeah, was you guys out. do look like them. Oh, that's oh, weird. weird. That's really weird. Mandy Moore is another one who got away. <laughs> She's the what if. Who got yeah. away if I never, if, yeah, it was like who got away that I never actually had an opportunity to engage with. I can't really. Mandy Moore and Marilyn songs. Monroe. The two. Well, people, well, I look like her sometimes. Those too. are my two. Oh, Those that, are my two that's out weird. of that's reach. The photo of you out with Out of blonde. reach. Uh, well, this picture of her with brown hair. Everyone's like, what the fuck you look Yeah, have you like seen her. this? Yeah, that's the, the weirdest thing ever. It's really odd. Because I never would have been like, oh, yeah, you look like her. And then you see the photo of Becca with, have you seen the no, photo? No, she 100% does. I'm trying to find one of the pictures, but this one. Somebody put superimposed my my uh, my bachelor photo on top oh, of that's this. that's weird. It looks just like her. It's one of those stuff yeah. I look at you, I don't go, I go, of course you no, don't look, look anything like her. And then Bro. I go, whoa. Uh, they go, very, through, very, very they go through melon they go through her family history and she's like literally their dude family it's actually crazy overlaps. it could be possible because really? her like yeah. 
I, I looked this up when people were first starting to send me all this shit because I was looking at photos and she actually looks a lot like my great grandma. And it turns out that like she, where, what was it? It's like her dad was in. Well, she's, she's also from San, she, she was Norma born Jean? in San Jose, California. As Norma Jean, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, her mom originates from like um, this one part of Mexico. Actually, it was like traced back to this one part of Mexico. Oh yeah, like, part of my family is from, and Whoa. but Norma Jean, yeah, she has like these ambiguous backgrounds, and like some of it originates in Mexico. And but I then definitely Becca's know family that- has some shit about like someone leaving, like a oh dude. no, many people like my grandparents, both of them. Okay, maybe I shouldn't talk about this on the podcast, but my extended family, like 100%, multiple people had like other husbands, other wives, other children. Like one of my fam- close family members, like got went on so Ancestry, got, not on be. Ancestry, went, took a DNA test and like someone showed up as like a sibling in Texas mm. kind of thing. Oh, so you like there's, you there's could plenty be of with that Marilyn in my right family. now. That's that's. Yeah, like there would be no way to track it in ancestry because it would be all about like affairs and shit. But it's it could one hundred percent she could she be, could be a channeling. Relative, relative. She could be channeling some uh, some Marilyn. Yeah, some de- some Norma Jean. Who knows? No, I think her mom was Norma Jean. Norma the one Jean that got away Jean's. did not get away, Gray. That's the point of this whole thing. I've been <laughs> reincarnated. She's been Marilyn. here this whole you got the, time. Like, the third life version. That's crazy. Damn, I mean, it's working out for me. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm good so, to go. I could hope for a for a thriving for a career like her. Not a death like her. I'll pass on that. Um, okay, well, anyway, well, Broads, hey, this was so fun. Thanks for joining us, uh, broads, broads, for our, for our double date quarantine <laughs> style. <laughs> that was miss so fun. Oh, miss, miss you guys. Miss you as soon as this is done, we're going to go... Hey, Let's guess what? As soon as this Venice. is done, I'll probably be postpartum and I'll probably have a baby and I can probably drink. <laughs> yeah. And we'll go to Venice. Or not Venice. Where where is the place that you guys took us with the cheese? Ooh, oh, was- fuck yeah. Um, Roberta's. Roberta's. Oh, right? oh. Do you guys remember the last time we went to a bar, Beck and I weren't drinking alcohol? And that was the first time we even met. That wasn't the last time. We went up to Margo, remember? Margo's not a bar. Margo's a okay. restaurant. No. We went to a bar. It was the first time we'd met. Harry's birthday. You were in like a Beetlejuice outfit. I was? She was? It was like black and white. No, it was Evan. Right. It was you had painted something for Evan. Was it Halloween? No, no, no. You had just you had just (laughs) played and I painted that uh that jacket for you. The yellow the Uh, yellow and black one. Yeah. The troubadour. Yeah. 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 Oh gosh. R. I. P. All these. Is the troubadour sold? You mean what do you mean like recently? Isn't the troubadour like is it wasn't under construction or was know. it the Wilton? Wilton? One of those big th- anyway, I don't whatever. Know. I don't know. Yeah. All right, guys, we really gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> For real though, we gotta go to bed. We gotta get up early. Jess and I Parents are recording. Here. In We're the morning. recording in the morning. Oh, yeah, All right. Are. Love you guys. Love you, broads. So much. Make sure Chat to slide, slide into these boys' DMs and just broads. send them the love. Thank you, broads, for everything. <laughs> we love bless. you, broads. Thank you for our food. Broads bless. Broads bless. Chat, Chat soon. soon. <laughs>